Hello, guys. Welcome to Gaming Gamers, buddy. We're the king of freaks, the gaming industry. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Philippine Nightmare. Like, nag-iisip pa ako ng cool nicknames for me since I'm a rising star na. Yeah, exactly. Pare, uh, you're you're the a complex, step above. Yeah. The Complex Pest. Yan yung isa sa <laughs> mga naisip ko. Ano ba ba? The Complex I'm fearless ng silanganan. I, I I thought yeah I thought that was gonna yeah. be the name of your special actually. <laughs> no, it was just the only reason why. Hindi ko I didn't choose that. Baka akala nila seryoso ako. Like oh. they're expecting a lot of political jokes about the Philippines, <laughs> and it's all just dick shit. It's all just cock humor. So yeah, welcome to the Gaming Gamers podcast, guys. Uh, it's me, Andren. Yeah, fresh off a uh, good special. Yeah, Andren just did. Special. For, yeah, sorry, sorry. I did 40 minutes. Giselle, I, I, I actually was looking at Giselle the whole time, Ren, because it's so hard to make Giselle laugh because he's like, <laughs> he's such a, you're not an asshole. You're such a hard guy to make laugh in a way that in conversation, but like when you, when I, every time when I tell a joke to Giselle, she's like, ah, okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's not a <laughs> reaction. He it in his brain. <laughs> Uh, yeah, joining with me is Giselle, yeah, uh, comic book extraordinaire, and um, you made the new thing the for BBM. The the yeah, I made, you made, a, for I made him, a new yeah. thing for BBM. <laughs> for him, you're a commission. <laughs> Bong Bong was no. on the phone. Is like wow. I need Giselle. <laughs> no, it, it, it's it's a fuck you to Bong Bong Marcos. It's a mm-hmm. like a pinwheel with blood on it. And nakakatawa yung nakakatawa yung. You mentioned Sabi to Jose, oh, you share your top para matalo natin si Marcos. <laughs> <laughs> and you, yes. you took down the uh, system. Lahat ng ill-gotten wealth bumalik bigla once I share that. <laughs> yun yung lagi yung joke ko sa friend ko nung pag-voting pag season, tapos natalo yung, yung binoto. Parang, bumoto naman ako, ba't hindi nanalo? I went out there. Sumama ako sa Maralita para bumoto. Ba't hindi siya nanalo? Okay. It's just... It's just so nakakatawa lang yung phrasing ng sentence. I-share natin para matalo si Bobo. It's also, it's also really depressing, no? Kasi it's like that knowing na parang, hmm. <laughs> And also with us is our uh, Gen Z slash millennial slash young guy correspondent in the field, River. River, River, River. Uh, Ganon na kami kandanda ni Giselle and how out of touch we are at video games. Ah uh, yes, uh nandito ako sa <laughs> No, you guys are pretty in, in touch of uh, with stuff the one for for 30 uh, something. River is actually reporting right now from Night City. So yeah, I'm in, I'm in Night oh. City, aka Tondo Manila and I'm here to report that someone lost their arm. But don't worry. It's a robot arm now. Uh, so, uh, what was the name weekends you guys? Uh, let's get into press text now, dude. What am I what, am oh, I, yeah. what is my weekend like? Um, um, you, you guys want, want to start? I can start actually. Uh, and this is a bit of early anime talk because over the weekend I watched the new, uh, I forgot his first name, but Hosoda, you know, that anime director. He made uh, Girl Who Leapt Through Time, Summer oh, Wars, yeah. the first Digimon movie. Oh, uh, what oh good. Wolf Your Children. So good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Wolf Children. Hosoda. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I like he, ha- he has a new film out called Bell. And my God, it's. It's really good. It's like when it's the the whole premise is there's a girl who is very shy and timid, but she's a really good singer. But she can only sing uh, confidently through her internet persona, which is Belle. And then in this world, uh, the internet is like this virtual world that's called You. And it's an app that you click and then you wear these earphones that scan your brain. And then it projects you into this virtual world. So she's like a pop star. It's like Hannah Montana. She's a pop star in the internet, but in real life, she's a country bumpkin, very shy, thought, timid girl. Thought, Every, yeah. Everything checks out so far, River. So uh, anime yeah. being Goku. Yeah. My app, it's just, yeah. I thought the River was describing the new Assassin's Creed for a moment. Yeah, yeah she, goes, she goes into the animus. She links into her, her ancestors from Italy. No, but no, it, it's the whole premise is like, uh, in the whole, like, thesis of the movie without spoiling it is about like authenticity on the internet like how how people choose to present themselves online and it's it's beautiful and the songs I, are so good have, have you seen you ano yung manga na my dad i don't know yung title but the concept is my dad is a vtuber 
Yeah, yeah, I know that one. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. And then he finds out that your mom is a VTuber, but not also, as yeah, popular rivals, as your dad. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're rivals, <laughs> and they don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's, and that, it, that's yeah. really clever. But yeah, overall, uh, and then there's like the, the whole like cl- uh, clincher that like starts the story rolling is there's another infamous like internet troll called the Beast. Who uh, he likes just wrecking shit and, and like he goes to like different areas and just wrecks shit and like, but Wait, like she it, senses like a soul, Mac, like a, a tragic Mac, soul. Mac sixty nine or yeah. John Tondo. Yeah, basically like that, like a big internet troll that like just does it goes talk there and, about and, like the internet. The inter- yeah, it does it really bully. well. Okay. It does. It okay, does. Well, it's like genuinely like there's like but, a lot of trigger warnings of like abuse and suicide, okay. but it does it in a respectful Real, way. <laughs> It's good. It's it's. I I really recommend it. It's weird because like I don't know how old Hosoda is, but it's weird because he really gets, uh, like the the culture of at least in Japan, like in the culture in Japan. It's it's really it's really well told, and it made me cry, especially with the the final song. It's really good. Baby, I'm a huge I'm a huge <laughs> puss, dude. Hate me. I see like if a sunset hits me in a certain way, I just tear up, man. But <laughs> <laughs> you, you, the wolf children thing, yeah, that made me fucking really sad. So I guess I'm gonna watch out for this because I know it's the. Good. Yeah. I know well, the, yeah. When you watch wolf children, what you do afterwards is I want to play Stardew Valley now. Because <laughs> you want to farm. Go, <laughs> just start farming. On, I'm gonna live off live. the land. I'm gonna go out to to Baguio and like live in. Live in this lady live, is a furry. Man, hey. Man, get no beast stars, but tops, no. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> I like I liked it. It's it's very campy it's in season two, but it's not bad. It's really good actually. Yeah, that, that's zoot- what I did over the weekend. It's the Zootopia we always wanted, but yeah, it's, it's, it's Zootopia without holding back. Sinajakayan, because you rabbit, then you love interest in wolves. I think Beastars was being made before, like the manga came out before Zootopia. I'm pretty sure. Oh, so yeah. yeah. There's only a, there's only a couple of animals that furries really want to fuck. It's always a fox yeah. or a rabbit. A fox, a rabbit, a wolf. Just um, it's, it's. I don't see yeah. a lot of cats being want to be fucked. Uh, it's because it's it's old hat because like, all these anime girls yeah, with yeah, hat yeah. ears. They're like, I've yes, seen yes. that. Yeah. You can put it. No max out na yung cat for exactly. the market. Yeah. Sa uh-huh. Treasure planet. That no max out na yung exactly. cat. Uh, Foxes are in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next <laughs> one. Next one. Yung, 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 <laughs> Yung treasure planet in yung bonding moment namin ni Andre pa ang ganda ng speech niya no nung nung pirate sa dulo and also we really want to fuck that oh, alien the, cat the, thing the, the, the cat <laughs> captain that's our favorite Pero, Disney movie oh, oh, wala na yung foxes wala na yung cats next party that I predict platypus this party hot platypus Australian damn she's so aquatic but also a little mammal <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, Andre, and what are you thinking? Like, uh, it was fun. Like again, now I can't stop talking about. It. I was so happy after the show. Uh, I did a special on no, Saturday. I did well. Yes, yeah. Um, but I need Very to well. improve some things. People. See, here's the thing. Huh? I was expecting thirty people to show up. That was my <laughs> main goal. No, seriously, because I'm I'm an unknown to comedy world. Yeah. Thirty people of my fans. That was great. And then my 110 you know, and then I'm like, God damn. Yeah. That was okay. really, yeah. I have a That's... theory. Do you think the young fans most started fucking each other and then dumami lang? <laughs> the influence <laughs> of kids, yeah. Right before you show me. Then, 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 just after friends. they shot up a school, they said, Oi, my not getting a special. Oi, my COVID ako, my not getting a special. So it's coughing at everyone. Yeah. <laughs> It was, yeah, it was um, such a good energy then. It was so yeah. fun. No, um, this, um, it's a self critique because I watched it. Next time, hindi na ako mag notes. Because I just, uh, you know, when you're you memorize shit, I memorized everything. Yeah. Now. And since it's there, you 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 kind of want to look at it to be yeah, sure that yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, next time I'm just not gonna do it with notes. How do you, you write your notes, mean... but do you write the full joke or do you write no. like the the oh, dog no. joke? Okay. The yeah, name, bottom no. bullet points. Bullet okay. points like I yeah. write the setups, and then that's it. So yeah, I had fun. Thank you, River and jo- Giselle, for watching. And uh, no problem. I was hyped was up, uh, and I needed something miserable to calm me down. So I uh, played Resident Evil Eight Village, <laughs> and it's really good. And we talked about it before the show. Like 
The only thing that's hindering my enjoyment of it talaga is because it's a horror game. It's scary to like it's generally I, I I was never a fan of horror games. Like the only Resident Evil na nilaro ko is two and three and four. Hindi ko na nalaro yeah. yung Code Veronica, yung mga iba. Like, kumalas na ako at her four. It's so weird. I played Code Veronica lang. <laughs> really? I only played four. That's the only one. Four and Code Veronica. Yun four yun. and a bit of five afterwards. Five, the racist one, di ba? Yeah, that's the racist which one. Explains, you which explains na hindi ko na-gets you start. Why is Chris the bad guy now? He, you should I play seven. Understand this. You yeah, actually know even if you play seven, you still don't get it. I'm not, yeah, I, play, I, I just played this. seven, and it's like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, it. I, this I don't want to spoil it. Motherfucker just shot a lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. There's He's something that happens. Lady. Yeah, there's there's okay, there's okay. a thing that happens. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you land. It's funny this... that you say like the only thing keeping you from playing Resident Evil Eight is that it's a horror game. And yeah, the scares are preventing you. I'm it's, like, I'm man, I love Mario, but I hate jumping. It's like basically what you said. <laughs> but the shooting is so good. Like I like the gameplay. Yeah. I like it's so the it, it's, they really yeah. like fine tuned it. Yeah. I'm good than the Duke. The guys, the Duke? I, love him. The, I love the Duke. The Duke yeah. And it's he knows the me. guy. But he has hints that he knows the guy from four. Yeah. He says like <laughs> he says, What, what are you why? selling? That's something my yeah. friend used to say, something like that. <laughs> and there's a lot of they hate hands here in this game. They fucking they sure hate do. hands forever. Guys <laughs> seven. It's like this mother. Mas malala do to seven kasi sa seven, seven you lose like, your hand like twice. My hand gets cut off, <laughs> it gets stapled back on. Yeah. And for the rest of the game, and like you're supposed to. Like, you're supposed to. Like, they, they pour some you're... Vicks vapor rub on your arm, and then it's attached. There was one again. one scene where you're fucking hammering something with your fucking one arm, and then yeah. I want to. Ano commentary ba to sa fucking la- like how action heroes <laughs> just get to fucking get a pass of physics or something like. It's weird. It's like yeah. They, Weirdly they enough, fuckings. they explained. They explained also that like why he keeps healing for some reason. Oh, and I think it's like a psychological thing. Like oh, it's a first person game. What's scary if you lose your hand? I guess because like that's always in your face. I don't know. That is weird that you always lose a, a like. The intro was really good. Like you, house of guy. Because you wash up from up top. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that was sick. That was sick. Yeah. That was good acting from that guy. He looks yeah. like the character acting. <laughs> when, when it's like, so, um, I'm a kind Wait, of. Glad... I, I have a question. I have a question about RE8. Because I looked away for a moment. I was at that mission na parang right after yung guy gets snatched up. You yeah. run up the hill and then you just get thrown out the window. And that's what happened. Na ano? With the hammer guy comes in and then they run off. I think so. Yeah. I forget. Yeah, like he right? grabs okay. you yeah. from something. Yeah, yeah. I got confused. Like, I, 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 I didn't look out. I didn't look <laughs> things at the screen for a moment. It's like, why am I done na dito sa part na to? I was having a tro- trouble with this because I didn't know how to kill people. Oh. I don't like that about the game. You know, there are some times of parang oh, like it's a cheat. I can't really do anything about. This. Oh, like you're to, supposed to. I had to run into this gonna, one part because yeah. parang it wasn't. That it's a, it does that a lot to seven. They did, I mean, because they did that in Resident Evil Four, didn't it? In the opening with I mean, the village, cool. where you get overwhelmed on purpose, then the bell rings, and then he says, "Where's everybody like, going? Bingo." It's sometimes because nakal. Well, the part lang yung nakalito. It happened to them. It's fine. Na na yeah. ano lang o parang yung well kung yar sa RE Seven, there's like, oh, you can't actually kill this boss. You have to like wait it yeah, out. Yeah, parang yeah. oh, how, how am I supposed to? I'm a I'm a dumb idiot. <laughs> Keep running at it. No, it's <laughs> what part are you in? Are you inside the mansion? Yourself? No, I'm I'm super super early. Pala. I just oh. after yung, I got thrown out and then um rabbit they really don't ease you in, no? It's just all werewolves all of a sudden. Yes, holy <laughs> crap, yeah. <laughs> like I was at the start of the game, bro. I'm dabbing werewolves just one of training sequence. Yeah, and there's no like <laughs> slow enemy. It's just <laughs> a really <laughs> fast werewolf. I was just thinking. I kinda like it. I kinda like it. When when what, isn't it supposed to be like a no? There's like this shambling zombie. When did Resident Evil not have zombies even at the beginning? <laughs> uh actually that's a good question. I think they stopped with the whole shambling zombie thing after Walking Seven. Dead killed the zombies. Yeah, after Walking Dead, like kind of overdid zombies. So they were like, we're not zombies. Not about zombies anymore. Yeah. 
Parang, oh nga, no? Like, I'm thinking there are a lot of fucking zombie games <laughs> for yeah. dead. That's why Days this... Gone didn't sell. Oh, you know, Days Gone sold very well, but I think PlayStation killed it. I don't know. It's kind of sad. Yeah. So, not to spoil much about yourself, but it really. You see, not... I actually said it in the chat, whatever. Um, I, it actually, I was actually, I really liked, like, I was kind of half joking in the chat. I really like the C Lady Dimitri, what, whatever Dim- her name Dimitris, is. Big yeah. TD Vampire. Yeah, Dimitris. <laughs> is it really. Yeah. Is it really the final boss? It's I actually like that because after that the Duke explains the different, parang the, the big four. I forgot ano yung tawag sa apat na yun. Um, Basta yung parang mga all star parang sa basketball. Yeah. I forgot what the they're called. But I remember yeah. all their names. Yeah. Yeah. And dude, I think I'm not gonna like the doll one. Like if I ever. Oh go to her, my god! It looks so yes. Pretty. You will <laughs> hate that scene. I, knowing you, you're not gonna. The dolls. You're not gonna have I a don't... good time. I noticed about this, this and Resident Evil, they really like ano, stringing shit up by ano, string and then nakapalibot. Because <laughs> yeah. they did that sa, sa seven with like doll heads and like everything. Like now it's like oh first it's crows and then second it's like goat heads. It's like oh yeah. I'm gonna wait for your doll heads no man again. I don't know why they do that. that. That's a good question. Like it's why? Easy, it's spoil- easy score scary. Yeah. Go long, go long, man. Yeah. Like, this will make you want to play the game because I saw the, the moment that I saved them. So, okay, I'm gonna really go for this. You find uh, your wife's head. <laughs> oh my god! Big oh, jump. <laughs> so, oh I'm fuck! Sure. What the fuck? Yeah. You know, Andre, yeah. the fucked up thing. I played seven. I don't care about her, and it's sad because I tried to <laughs> okay. save her as a seven, and it was shocking in the beginning when she gets shot by by Chris Redfield. Because I was starting to, oh, I'm interested in this. Oh, okay, she's dead now. I guess we're not, yeah, we're not gonna I, let her talk. I, again. I, I couldn't feel anything because I didn't know these characters. I, yeah, I just, the first game, I it. didn't give a shit about <laughs> her, and it's yeah. not as if I didn't try. It's like, oh, you know. So, so part of me say, is thinking, now, are you gonna fucking Frankenstein your oh, wife's you, you dead body? Wait, no, that's not your wife. That's not your wife's head. That's your your baby's head. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you gonna Frankenstein yeah. your baby's head? Like, oh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh, that's your own story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, you fucked up thing dude, about your wife. It's like she's the one with military training, and she doesn't do it. Yeah, and she gets freaking she... gunned down like a punk. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Pero to be fair, they got caught off guard in a way. Yeah, yeah. She just suddenly got <laughs> shot. Like, phew, like that shot was actually really well done. And I, I like how Chris is is just a giant man. Like he. Like if you compare Chris now to how he looked like in the first game, he was like a twink <laughs> in Resident Evil he look, One. He looks like Nemesis now. Yeah, he <laughs> became <laughs> Nemesis. He became Mr. X. He's so big. <laughs> he, he, got young, have... buddy. he got the old body. He had a year, just... buddy. <laughs> he he, he punched so many boulders and now he's yeah. huge. Yeah. Is it just in the contract that dapat may character na Chris Redfield like? You know, parang, it, wait, it's, didn't they actually have a giant hulking blonde guy na made glasses na? Who's that guy? The enemy uh, dati? Wesker? Wesker! Wesker was yeah. a, Why is Chris Redfield kind of like being the Wesker type? Oh, because na... Wesker's dead, I think. Oh, he it died. Doesn't matter. By the way, I'm good to reboot. Bringing up the Giselle, I have not seen any umbrella shit pare, so far as a play to be put but how big that one is? How did they retcon the umbrella data fucking story? That like, I don't know how it's a sequel um, anymore, to be honest. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like a soft reboot. Like, uh, it's a soft reboot after six. with Evelyn. No, I don't know. That was a good so, twist, the first one. And she was like the yeah. granny. I like that oh, one yeah. too. That's the creepy. I, I'm loving Resident Evil. I pre ordered na ako sa Horizon. Uh, fuck, what? I keep forgetting. Horizon the Forbidden West. Forbidden, Forbidden West. West. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm excited. I hear for it's that. gonna be cool. It's more like hindi siya kasi basic is the first one. There's like a lot mm. more lore. In yeah, the, the melee it's combat like in the areas. first one is kind of not the greatest, but and yon, and I downloaded first time ko mag-download ng DLC. I downloaded the DLC for Dead Cells. So nice. uh, it has, I did. I also got it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a yeah. lot. There's a lot of DLC, but they're they're all very substantial. They really changed the whole yeah. game to like a, I I burnt out. It. It's one it of my favorite. So yeah. 
I think I I might try Hades, but let's say for my budget. Bottom. I love Hades, yeah. yeah. That's I also got my... I also got Death's Door, but I haven't played it yet. That's the one that people say is it's like so fucking like stupid. Hades. Did you buy it on the Switch? No, I got it on Game Pass. Hehe. <laughs> Yun nga eh. I just bought it on the Switch and I see it come on Game Pass. So, well, I'm gonna play it ano, underneath a tree. Yun yung, yeah, ano, to, para to make ma- the most out of your purchase. <laughs> purchase <ko. laughs> Ayun, pero like, eh, I've been picking, uh, as a weekend ko, sa, sa days ko, I've been playing a lot of, ano, um, Pusoy Dos with friends online. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, kahapon, like, I got si AJ into Pokemon Unite. Your friend nice. that is the AJ, right? Yeah. And then it's like, man, we have such fun with playing Gartic Phone and all these wholesome browser games like Spyfall. And then so brand toxic na namin pagdating sa Pokemon you know, it's like, oh, this fucking game is hard. We're not. This is game. Everyone's like paying to win now. It sucks. Ganun. Dude, I have not paid a single cent, and I, I think I'm not bad at the game. I think I just. I I'm took okay at the of, game. Uh, no. I, yeah, I'm okay at the game. I took advantage of How can you pay to win in that game, game yourself? You can buy items. Yeah, you can buy mm-hmm. items that make you better. But I'm better but healing items. You that, can just that grind. That goes a long way. Yeah, you can just grind for the currency, which I appreciate. Halo doesn't do that, which I hate. But if, you, if still you grind Halo? long enough, yeah, I still play Halo. I, I'm mostly playing the campaign though. The campaign's really good. I'm taking my time with it though. Wait, you haven't finished it? I thought you finished it. No, I haven't. I'm taking my time. It's like the thing oh. I like about the Halo campaign is it feels like I'm playing Far Cry, but I'm indestructible, and it's it's so fun. <laughs> you don't have to fucking go Fring. up a tower and fuck yeah, there's some no, people there's up. no Gustav Fring there's no Voss it's just this gorilla man this gorilla man what keeps a, what saying a fucking, I'm gonna crush what you what a fucking hawk <laughs> from out of nowhere just be like and you need to heal all the bullshit like that <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly there's no crocodile that shows up while I'm swimming and I'm, I pee myself because I get scared <laughs> and you don't Does get that that happen in the there. game? Well, <laughs> no it happens in real life <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, what? 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 Is, let's let's put in a topic. Let's put yeah, in yeah. a. I don't. Anong gusto niyo topic? I'll I'll change yung header. Um, games that we finished recently. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, let's do, no, no, let's do it by game, like specific by game. So good. But I can um, cut it up to like. Do you want to talk about Plague Tale? After that, I talk Tale. about Shin Plague Tale, Mona. That was you interview us, Andre. So, so Plague Tale. Okay, I'll I'll start it out. Oh, no, start it out. You're a French lady, and then a dog dies, and then rats come out of everywhere. That's yeah. the opening tutorial of Plague yeah. Tale, and it teaches you that dogs always die in video games. It teaches you the the world is unfair so, and it's a cruel. So both place. of you finished it, then. Huh? Yeah, yeah we like... finished it. I loved it. I actually really enjoyed it, which is weird because it has it, it has crafting, it has sneaking, and I didn't think I would like it because of that. Why? But I actually enjoyed it. I don't. I don't really like crafting and sneaking. Uh, and let's talk games. about that, Mona. Why? It, the Plague Tale is a stealth game set in uh, plague times in France in twenty twenty one. Twenty and like us in this weird fantasy world. Yeah. But like, what? It's river. Why don't you like sneaking games? Because I'm bad at it, <laughs> but I like. Because I'm impatient and, I, and I'm an impulsive gamer. Well, what I like in Plague Tale is if you get spotted, the game doesn't just reset you. It does in this one part, but that's because you're a little boy. But throughout like 99% of the game, I like when a sneaking game, when you get spotted, you can fight your way through, but it's really hard, but you can do it. Or you can find a way to like hide again and escape. That's why I like what? Arkham. I that's why I like um, uh, freaking, what's the other one? Uh, Dishonored. Because if what you get spotted. Did you play? Like what difficulty? Uh, I I don't know what difficulty I played. I think I played like normal. I played normal difficulty. I felt like the game kept resetting me. <laughs> like I, cause there was I only spotted, one way to go, and then I couldn't fight my way oh, at all. If if because sometimes if cause okay, so in Plague Tale, she has a sling. The combat is you have a sling, and then you ha- you can put different things in it. So like, you can put like a thingy that melts uh, helmets. It has like acid in it. There's a thingy that like starts fires. There's a thingy that lures the rats to them. You Basically, have all these she's like headshot yeah. queen. She's yeah you and that's what I love is she's headshots only because if you miss if you hit any other body part you're dead. And yeah. I like that because it, it balances it out. Nah. But it's it's auto aim. It's not. It's like a yeah, radical. Kind of. yeah, it, it, it kind of locks so it's on. Not, 
it's not fussy, you know. And if you upgrade your sling, it like locks on faster, like all this stuff. But I like that they give you these tools that you can escape when you get spotted. Because I don't like in like um, I think I just got traumatized as a kid. I used to play. You ever watch Emperor's New Groove? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Disney movie. It had this yeah. game. Where you're, uh, you have to sneak past guards to go back to your it palace, um, and there's this part where like it, as soon as they see you, they go like demon llama, and then they kick you all the way back. And I got so angry as a child, and I think that carried over to now, and then that, that like started <laughs> my resentment for stealth games. Influence you on like every stealth mission. No, no, yeah. no demon llama. Um, you know you know, you think of it like um, um, uh, Emperor Emperor's New Groove is like. Pacha's wife is hot, you're pregnant yeah. lady. You didn't realize she's beautiful. Pre, she's... pre and post pregnancy, she is a beautiful woman. <laughs> no, pregnant only. Oh, <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> yeah, she looked extra thick, right? Yeah. Pacha be extra... pulling. Yeah. yeah, but fuck yeah. Okay. Pacha There's a reason because he, he's got those thick fingers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> it's so weird. Well, I saw you, I saw you in some uh, interview with uh, Zendaya. Yeah. And like see Tom Holland, and see Tom Holland was explaining something about you know, Spider Man and agad to siya. and then yeah. Zendaya was like doing this, and I was like, "Oh you my motherfuckers god, motherfuckers are memeing. You, you, you are like doing you. You're doing this to get trapped. Was, I'm sure of it. I thought you were gonna say that they were in talks of play of doing a live action Emperor's New Groove, and Tom Holland was no, gonna be Cusco. It's fingering. It's, <laughs> I know, it's I know, insinuation I of fingering, parang. And then the caption is the TikTok is like Zendaya girl. <laughs> so anyway. Okay, so Plague Tale. Yeah, we should be oh, selling. Let's I, try selling the idea to <laughs> Andrew and too. Yeah. But yeah, do you have uh, any questions? <laughs> no, I just I just saw the the poster for this. It looks like a fucking lame miss. It, <laughs> it is. is. It, it really is. is. <laughs> and like I think you'd like it in the sense that you fucking crawl through corpses. There's so yeah, many fucking several dead times. Like it's like it's worse than a Call of Duty game. It's on PS4. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's on the Switch then. That's the cloud version. Um, I liked it. Um, the story's nice. As as River and I talked to GC, it was like there's shades of like Stephen King in it. it's like a group of like orphans and shit. They're like badass kids rebelling against the adults. I like that. It felt very um like a. Stephen, um, not Stephen King, but like other the, the director. What's his name? Oh, he made Jurassic Park. He made uh, Steven Spielberg. Spielberg. It felt very Spielbergish. But it's uh, Spielberg. It's a ragtag team of the kids. French. Going on. Yeah, like, exactly. it, it gets pretty fucking dark. Tapos, um, oh, yeah, my God, yeah. Short. It's short. It's like I know, sixteen hours, fifteen, twelve. Then home, I, I was really so scared through. that I wouldn't finish it before it came off Game Pass. I was like, oh no, I have to pay for this game that I'm ninety percent done with. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that was my biggest fear. <laughs> biggest fear, my biggest fear is to sneaking pay. games. Yeah, yeah. River, you gotta get other fears, man. I'm not. I don't want to spoil the game because I really, actually, kind of want Andrew to uh, check it out. But there's this I, one. I, I, I yeah, there's this. I, uh, later in the game, uh, they, there's this one reveal that unlocks an ability, and I love how it's presented. I'm not gonna. Are like, you a no? Let's Are see. you big on like uh, sneaking games, Andrew? Stealth games? Um, if it's the like the only stealth game that I really, really loved was uh, the, both Dishonored and Dishonored One. Metal and... Gear. Did you guys? Play, you, you guys Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Yeah. But um, that's like that almost was, like a game. Pero, Metal Gear was more of its time now. When I was a different gamer back then, I was more <laughs> patient. I was more <laughs> patient too. Like yeah. now, okay, do, do, let's go, let's go, let's see the the, the numbers go up. Man. Let's see it, let's I, see it. I don't even think that. Nah, nah, I don't even think the Metal Gear is much of a stealth game. Really? So you could you could play it in any way that you want. To, that's to be what honest, turned right? me off from the game because eh? everyone kept telling me it was a stealth game, so I never played it. It's a stealth them. game, but you can run through it, no man. You just have to by, good, by yeah. five. They said, ah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. by, by I, oh, I really want to play Snake Eater, that's always been on my radar. Uh, Snake Eater, I can, I can technically get it on like, it's, 3DS. It's it's good. The only thing that irritated me about it is like if you have to keep eating, you have to eat. There's a survival yeah, stuff, yeah. yeah. And that, you can that's all. do like camera. Yeah. Story wise, it's really good. It's really It's stupid. the best one story wise. You're not super weird, not like put, puts you off. No, because like two is like yeah. hard to get into if you're not. But <laughs> yeah. three is three is technically a prequel. Eh? So you'd, I yeah, think you'd like yeah. it because three is James Bond. Eh? 
Snake yeah, Eater really is a James Bond, Bond take And it has a theme song too. The Snake yeah. Eater. Snake Eater is yeah. so fucking good. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> so, so you yeah, might that... enjoy three. Yeah. So like, uh, my questions come as a Plague Tale, Andren. In the, uh, is it? How long is it? First of all, it's so very. You, you I was very short. It like it's like hours. right, like middle. Because when you said crafting, I my ears kind of perked up. What do you upgrade exactly? When you're what do you upgrade? Uh, exactly? There's four things that you upgrade. Like it's, it starts with three. So there's this sling, which um, you can upgrade it to be like, I can reload faster. My sling can carry more things. Gonna, there's your pouch, which is like, I can carry more crafting of, uh, items. I can craft faster like that. And then um, I forgot what the other one was. It's not, I uh, know. It's not like your, it's not Andrin upgraded, by the way. No, I mean, because I, I was playing through the game and I realized that this is not something that you can overpower. It's like the only way uh, that you can upgrade high is to be thrifty because you're like this street. Yeah, person. yeah, yeah. And I so like that like, the game does that. Yeah. It I mean, rewards maganda, you for being thrifty. Maganda yung point ni, ni River. It's like it's, it's echoing yung thing. Pero at that time, it's like this is a weird. It's usually because when you're leveling something up, it's like I have to get a lot of things. Dito, it's yeah. like you just get enough. And then if you could like do it without the other stuff, but you know it's fine. It's more of like it's a story game. A lot of it oh. is a story game. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of fifty fifty now if I'm gonna buy it with what you guys said. But the thing that's keeping me because the story seems interesting to me. Like, uh-huh. And story hey, good. You you compared it to Hellblade, right? Like yeah, I like the story of Hellblade. Hellblade. Your yeah, your, yeah. Ex- yeah. your experience. Uh, it, this is what's cool about the game. Like. <laughs> There's no backtracking. You just fucking run through like these beautiful cinematic things. Yeah. Now. You you run it's through a gorgeous like gorgeous game. It's all it's all fucking corpses, dude. There's a scene as a it's so battlefield. Well shot, yeah. yeah. The the, the uh-huh. part where they're all the pigs started dying and they just dump them into yeah. uh, and the it's game makes metal. you do some really fucked up stuff. Because um, I I really yeah. want this to be my new Last of Us where. Like I said, The Last of Us, I didn't yeah. like the gameplay that much, but... I don't think you'd like it, the gameplay in Dita. <laughs> but, 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 the thing that kept me going is The Last of Us, and it's my story? favorite PlayStation 3 game ever, way above Skyrim, because of the story. Yeah. And I'm hoping that this would may- maybe... I, I, I like a good like, story. <laughs> I like a good story. story. It's a great story, actually. I, I'll, I'll, I have a question. I have a question. River, is this... Is this a good game to buy or is this a good game on Game Pass? Yeah, it's, just oh, yeah. you know what? Um, I would. It's not a triple A game. Like if if, if this not, was yeah. like, is it one five? Is it? If 1, this was 5? on sale on Steam or on sale on the PlayStation Store, I would definitely buy it. Like, but I I don't think I'd buy it full price. But not because I don't think it's worth the price. I just I just have a lot of games to play. So like. It's just like the kind of thing where I buy. Actually, this is what I've been doing lately, and it's kind of. I, I feel like I'm a sociopath. I buy. I've been buying like physical games, cause. But I don't play them until like my backlog is done, and then I play the physical game so I can sell it later. Like so, I I have like um Trials of Mana. I bought that last year, and I have not touched it because I I'm trying to finish all the JRPGs. It's a good game. But, it's yeah. a fucking good game. I just well, pretty short for JRPGs. JRPGs. Second at that two three pala no tama yeah 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 okay okay but yeah I think it's worth the money like I'm uh, like if on sale oh uh, yeah sale, if I yeah. if I see it on sale I'll definitely buy it it's a it's short a very, game kasi it's eh. not a very replay heavy game but the reason why I I would support paying for the game is because I think the developers are in, independent I don't know if they're I don't I, know I, if they are because yeah, they made yeah. they made Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, <laughs> oh, we're a small indie but company think, with like the power of Google. I think maps. they deserve the money in that. Like, oh, yeah. I like what they made. It deserves again because, like, I don't think it's even that expensive nowadays because the sequel's coming out soon, so they're pushing for more people to buy the first game. I have a question. I have a question. How do you tell yeah. if a game is European? Not from the accents. No, 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 not from the accents. Nothing. I, I think for me, it's like. When yung action button is yung top face button. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> yung <laughs> triangle or yung Y is like. It's not a. Oh, European. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. kung Japanese circle is the X button. The, the yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Circle, right. And then pag American, oh, it's like the bottom it's one, a. the X. It has to be. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah freaking <laughs> the, the Metro oh, yeah. games were like that. Like I had to press like the X button to interact. 
It was so weird. So I was like, why do I feel like this is like medieval or something? Like, why am I playing like a, a European game? Like, oh, I guess it's French. Anyway. It's it's fine. It's whatever. I I really enjoyed it. I cried. Whatever. Um, that's what I was saying. I cried. Whatever. I felt an emotion yeah. or two. It's it's like it's like oh, this is like their. It's like a double A. It's like a. No. It really is like the Last of Us, but in France type of deal. Because they like, they have no crafting things the Last of yeah. Us, and like you're trekking through a lot of shit. Ganon. You know? Um, it's like that over the shoulder thing, and then for a moment it's like in the ASAP call like, man, I should. I should have gotten you pin a bit pin a bit of PS4 no ano isang kakanana. Anyway, because you want to play The Last of Us and all of those other and ano, Bloodborne, yeah. Okay. And Blood, I don't know anymore. I, I I I'm kind of mad at Souls like stuff right now. The hell, the DS3. It's like just in time for Elden Ring too. <laughs> Elden Elden Ring will bring me back, but it's like. How many fucking times do I have to roll away from this motherfucker? I'm done na. <laughs> Haven't I proved? It's weird, eh? Because para it's my third game, and it's like, haven't I proven myself enough? Enough is why the, enough. Why are the, why are the attacks so deliberate? I can't even quick time. Why can't I cancel my animations? Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool that day, eh? and by the third time, it's like, am I just gonna roll? Is that the whole thing of this fucking Dark Souls it thing? Is. It rolling really away, is. and it really is. Yeah. Pero mababawasan ng fifty percent yung rolling mo if you have a sword and shield. You know, you're mostly blocking, and then, yeah. And yeah. mostly, it's like turtling, turtling. Yeah. Well, well, it's like, 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 I mean, because I think that's why I think you like Bloodborne, because I think it, it cuts the, the formula the in half. <laughs> Yeah, it really does actually. It, like, I'll try. there's no, there's no backstabbing, so you're not like waiting for the other enemy. Um, you don't roll, you strafe in a cool anime kind of way. Um, uh, and you don't have a shield, you have a gun. So like, all those those three things change everything. How the enemies are designed, how they behave, how the boss battles feel. You're no longer like hiding behind cover. It has best girl, pare. It has best girl, pare. Which one? The doll. Which one? The doll. Oh, the doll. The doll, yeah. the doll is pretty girl, nice. Pare. I like the doll. Okay, okay. Next topic, Andrew. You got can, can I yeah, talk, talk about, about something, Andrew? Um, so, Modern Warfare 2019, Call of Duty. I'll, I'll put it up on the ticker because I didn't put up your fucking play kill. Yeah, I was going to be like... It. I know. I fucking forgot. Modern Warfare, ano? 2019. Yeah. 2019. I'll put it up. Intro it. Okay. So I saw my sister play this one, actually. I saw pieces of it. So technically, because my sister's gotten into Valorant, Apex Legends during the pandemic, and I see her screaming, "Oi, micro!" and I'm like, man, this this really changed you, huh? But, uh, yeah, yeah. I was watching her play Modern Warfare, and I love me a good story, and it's horrible. Huh? I'm not saying maangas and doing na shit that was cool, but they really like say what you want. Na Call of Duty is this stuff. Basic game online, like no one plays the campaign, but the campaign is good. And this one, because there was this, yeah, there was this terrorist, and I forgot his name. Let's name him Brack. Because I, I just <laughs> watch, I just watch my sister play this. And he kills a, a kid in a game, and I'm like, wow, like, oh my god, I, I, I don't think you can do that. But he was shot off screen, but he still was killed. And damn, and then you capture him eventually, and then. There's this torture, then parang you kind of force him to reveal information. That's may sinabi yung guy na bring out the package. That's you know, may, may van, alam mo ba? That's sinabi ng bida. What's inside it? Truth serum. Sabi ng Russian guy. That's pagbukas mo tayo yung family niya kinidnap niyo. Oh wow. Oh my God! Like I was like shit. <laughs> these are these are video games now, and I I'm like they actually they blindfold them they gag and tie them and they show them to his dad you terrorist and they give you a gun and the, the, your boss has pulled the trigger and then he begs you uh, he begs you the the terrorist guy begs you not to shoot his family hindi sila involved dito tulad na sinabi na tulad nung pinatay mong bata sa embassy tapos nung pagkaklik mo 
wala pa lang laman oh. and to show that they mean business so let's let's do this for real this time that's it put the gun inside eventually he talks and i'm just like wow but damn this is really effective in a way that i think video games can only do because yeah. you actually because you pull the trigger for, yeah, it's like yeah. the intro of Wolfenstein 2 where you have to shoot your dog. Yeah. And it has a great message then. When you fucking... when you said the namatay yung bata off screen. Mm. I thought it was like may shot na nahulog yung Bini, tas gumulong pala yung may Alice in a Bini. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. It's fine. It's fine. No, and, and there's a part there in a... I, you know me, I, I'm a sucker for good taglines para yung sinabi. We get he- we get our hands dirty, the world stays clean. That's it. Sometimes Damn. we are the ones who remind you that there's something scary in the dark. Because they're black ops, and that was great. Mm. What what, bad, they uh, they did was horrible, so, what they did was horrible. What they did was yeah. What they did was horrible, but it was effective in a way that damn, Celine, can you stop playing this? You're like fucking 21 years old. <laughs> <You're> like, oh, <laughs> you ever play? You ever play the other? What Call of Duty campaigns have you played, bro? I'll be honest. Um, no, I haven't played any Call of Duty. Okay, because <laughs> that's I, why, baka, baka, that's yeah. why I think I'm so surprised with this one. Damn. Yeah, they really I, went for I grew it. up. I grew up on like Call of Duty, like three and the Call of Duty four, Modern Warfare, and uh, Black Ops, Black Ops two. Like they have like really like actually like very thematically like uh, what's the term like they they knew like the political climate at the time, so they knew which buttons to push to shock you, because mm-hmm. uh, like. In um, I think it was in Modern Warfare One. You play, you jump perspectives throughout uh, the game, and then there's this part. The second person you jump into, he you're a you're a governor in a in like a, in this like the Middle East. They never say what it is, and then they put uh, a a bag over you, and then you're a hostage. And then throughout you see, like um, what American weapons do when you when you like. Where, like militarize certain areas what it does to a community like you, you have all these like people that are trying to uh liberate their country but that means like giving uh like go doing like doing like violent things and, and like overthrowing governments and whatnot and then at the end they shoot you and you die so that, like i i that was and that was in um 2007 like way back and I, I, I that shocked me as a kid because i'm like wow they, they made you die you're the main character and you die and they did it again in a later character where you, um a, a nuclear bomb explodes and then you die of radiation like all this stuff but i i, I like that um they, they still haven't lost their touch i might give this one a try i never played the newer ones i kind of stopped have, after black ops i have edgy i have edgy stuff to say na about this i mean like um in the sense that there was that reveal that this cia does fund a lot of entertainment so states yeah like, and they um, fund the something Call of Duty like games. zero dark 30 was what? actually yeah. mandated what? by the government yeah yeah so that's it's like a lot of this is know. culture sci war it seems yeah, like that, that's it up. seems like that's it's, uh, no, it's like yeah. critical of the government is funded by the by no the it's military. actually like not it's not funded it's or really, yeah see, like it's sponsored and or whatever yeah. see michael bay is actually just really friendly with the military so yeah, he could yeah. get so you he gets a lot of my bad ass shots of transformers of the military of their gear yeah, that like, they yeah, labor yeah, to the mil- yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. so it's completely parang jingoistic stuff like and then napaisip na ako about it na parang they are doing a good job of like they're showing the military is doing a lot of wrong, but at the end of the day, we're human. Yung ganon. Yeah. And like, we're still like trying to do something good. And I wonder about that, eh, lalo na sa... Kasi like, um, what gets people to sign up for the military more than prop Call of Duty and more Modern Warfare, diba? Yeah. yeah. That's like yeah. a good ad campaign without even being an ad campaign. Ganun. And lang. But I think it's still valid stories. I understand naman. It's not... It's just, you know, man, parang, huh? I, I think about it sometimes. Yung parang yeah. quote unquote, parang things that are critical of like, I don't know. Where like they make like commentary on, uh, no. I mean, um, in yep. Black Ops Three, there's actually the the main antagonist is a guy that is sick of 
how the government uses uh, men and women in the army as like pawns just to throw them off into missions to die. So what? It, it's kind of weird the plot in Black Ops Three, but overall it, it's just this guy who's sick of ano. He, cause he was sent into a suicide mission with with his platoon, and all his friends died with him. And then he he survived, but he wasn't meant to survive. And then he finds out that that mission was a distraction, so that another platoon could come out from behind or something like that. So his freaking his freaking mission is he wants to make an AI afterlife where all of the people, the, all the dead soldiers' what? brains. Yeah, I know. It's, it, it's, this is where the plot loses me because like yeah. his motivation is so Halo. genuine. Yeah, it became Halo. Okay. His motivation is so genuine. Are you describing then, like, his... the new the new uh, no, um, uh, uh, Assassin's Facebook Creed? No, but yeah, his plot, his whole plan is NFTs. Are this is about NFTs again? Kind of, I guess. Like he wants to upload every dead soldier's um brain into this AI afterlife where they can be like peaceful okay. and whatnot. Yeah, it, it's weird, but I like that the motivation there is like he's what, kind what of saying how fucked up. Uh, Black Ops Three, Call of Duty Black Ops Three. Oh okay. That's yeah, weird. Yeah. It's a good game though, but yeah, the I I, I get what you mean about like these uh, establishments. Uh, criticizing themselves so they don't look like a perfect uh, thing, but they justify yeah. it at the end anyway. They always be like, "We may be like what you said, like we got our hands dirty so the world can be clean." It's kind of like that, but I don't know. I don't know where we can draw the line of like what is brainwashing and what is so just a cool weird, line. Man. And what if Al Qaeda just made a clicker game? No? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of a really messed up like title for the oh, game. Yeah. You don't even need to think of it. People are already thinking of you. Kung ano yung magandang clicker game for terrorists or something. Yeah, pero it's usually strapped in their chest. Pero yeah. And then the goal is to get as many as many virgins as possible. <laughs> Virgin clicker. <laughs> <laughs> you set us up for that one. Uh, yeah. uh, can I talk quickly then about this? Yeah, I didn't book it. I didn't book it. The, yeah, the you forgot to put the title. Let's talk anyway, about Disco Elysium. Whatever. Disco Elysium. Disco Elysium. Disco Elysium. Why so do I need? I know. I thought Disco Elysium. Alright. Alright. So... Tonight I'm gonna put it in. Nah, it's gonna. God fucking damn it. Okay. okay go. Disco oh, Elysium. Oh. It's a, a communist simulator. I yes. don't know what it is. It's a it's a capitalism and communism for dummies. Now, let's yes. just put it that way. So uh, I met the guy now, the head of the union, the fat guy, yes. and the fucking office. He's a, look here, the game does. I'm gonna a game in a way that you don't know who's really bad or who's really good in that. Maybe except Measurehead. <laughs> okay, so my partner, I'm talking to him. Is he a good guy or a bad guy, River? Because he, he looks so slimy, but he's well spoken. Like yeah, it's. He sends you into a mission where I need signatures in this apartment. Mm-hmm. But he says, "Magtatayo lang naman sila ng youth center. Eh. That's good for the children. Keep the kids off drugs. And I want fair pay for all of my union workers." And he looks such like a sli- a slimy guy. But I don't know if he's good or not. Eh. Like I'm still confused. Yeah. How I- uh, he's um. I actually love how confusing his morality is. Yes. He's kind yes. of. He's kind of like um. How do I describe him? He, I, he's he, the he, best character for me. That yeah. I met. He, uh, yeah. How you many days tell... are you in? How many days? Oh yeah, is how many um, days? Uh, day three now. Yeah. Oh my fucking god! We've been talking about this game for three weeks. I'm day one. It's so fucking long, <laughs> <pala. Bitch>. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just waiting for time. But like when you say, I thought you were gonna say, oh, I'm like a week two. Day fucking three. I mean, yeah, I think yeah. the whole. Game I'm taking my just... time with it. I'm taking yeah, my time know, with I it. Know. I know. I don't know how many I'm days my the whole game well. is. <laughs> yeah. I forgot how many days. I think it's like five or seven days. I forgot. Like, uh, anyway, oh, that's hopeful. Like, yeah, because yeah. um, I I like that. I like uh, well, I forgot his name. He's the guy whose yeah. eyeballs are like facing yeah. into a different direction. And he's really fat. And he's really fat. He's really fat and slimy. Mm-hmm. And he smokes a yeah. fat cigar. Yeah. But, but yeah, I never to this day. I finished the game, and to this yeah. day, I couldn't like point if he's a bad guy or a good guy. Yeah. And I like that. Like that's mm. none of the characters are you. Know, you you never get a clear interpretation. Yeah. Like even Kuno to the point that. Oh, he's like this because he's been abused as a kid. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, there's, yeah, there's. I mean, even Measurehead, he's a racist. I get it. 
but like at the same time he he is oh. standing up for the rights of like workers everywhere and whatnot yeah. But. Yeah. and what else um i talked with kuno and ah there's this scene that i love uh it, it's in between day one and two where you have a dream and that's when i realized oh your wife left you and you talk to yourself whether yourself is hanged in the tree where the body yeah. used to be it's so good it's so, so beautiful game. i don't say cool it's it's a it's a, it must be a metaphor for something and like yeah, you're killing it, it yourself it definitely is like or like yeah, he yeah. sees the dead person as him like or like yes. he he might as well be dead especially because he has no memories yeah. so like yeah yeah your wife it's, it's yeah. such a it's such a literary game without without it effortlessly because it's also very entertainingly written and i mean yeah. like yes if it was it's funny written, it's, funny. it's, funny. Yeah, it's, it's funny. funny it's so good i love how in every dialogue choice that um that you get it's always like this is i'm a communist uh i'm a capitalist i'm i love disco so fucking much like that's like the third <laughs> one it's always like it's just so random Look, like he just there are some <laughs> things there that i would say fucking yeah. and that, that's why you the writing is solid and this might be my game of the year i don't know i really like that, it that was, dude, it's my game it was my game of the year when it first came out and but, i only heard of it because they talked about it in the video game awards too yes and but this isn't a man up marathon game you know it's no, it's not a video game it's not a video game let's put it that way it's like it's a it kind of transcends the name because yeah. if you if you see it as just a game like how do i lose in this game because it's not really a lose I guess I'm out. You could die. Then again, I like yeah. that. No, I like that. It seems like there's very little happening in the sense that from day one to two, right? Like, I yeah, think it's... if it was like longer than that, you're, you'd you would suffer from RPG syndrome. Na parang, where the fuck was I? You know. But mm. right now, it's like still very clear in my head. Oh, I have to go to this. Yeah. yeah. I just wish. I wish the game fixture, ran better. Yeah. I was that's just because you're, you're playing better. on the freaking Switch, dude. <laughs> Me too, but like it's 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 there are some places that oh I could walk here. Like you know, my times are gonna this isn't optimized for the consoles. It's a PC game. Yeah, I guess yeah, like, I yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm. Know, man, you know privilege. what? Just that's fucking right. Because it took the dock workers' office. It took me like ten minutes to figure out how I'm gonna leave. Oh no, I walk this way. <laughs> you know, it's because of how right. yeah, because of how the isometric and a camera. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck this. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something. It's not really a spoiler. It's more of a fun oh, no, no. Uh, fun little secret. In that dock workers area, there's a secret character you can meet, and he's so funny. He's the funniest character in the whole game for me, at least. I'm not gonna spoil who or what he is, but there's a there's a secret character because like there's one uh, case, there's one um freaking uh, shipment thing. What is it called? Like the 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 crate that you can't open. You can't open that I don't, crate. I don't. Did know you find River, that one? I don't know. River, the boat lady is pretty good. This too, it's pretty good too. With I know. I know. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> really is, she really is. She really is an animal. Oh, how many? How many? How many? Um, did you talk about cryptids with that old lady? Like, yes, all, all I'm day? trying to find. I'm trying all to find his wife, her wife, and the cryptids. Okay, uh, I good. need to find figure it. I love that yeah. side story of you just you what? being obsessed with cryptids. <laughs> <It's> so stupid. <laughs> and I, I'm finding this this uh this lady's drunk husband who I yeah. met. Then set up the bookstore. Give her a hug. What are you doing? <laughs> it's fun. It's genuinely the best game ever. Do you know? Do you know what they're up to, you guys? The Disco Elysium. What are what? they doing now? I know they're expanding it. They hired like a ma- They did a mass hiring of new creative people. All of a sudden, I don't know what they're doing. I I, I hope they make a na ano worker strikes offices <laughs> That'd be so <laughs> ironic. That's so funny. Dude, like Someone I'm thinking that. So I'm, I'm thinking that Giselle something fucked up like they hard new people they fucking make this with rpg like you you can go to a dungeon and also do this i think that would be the next big thing in rpg oh uh, like it's just straight up like a fantasy rpg but with this level of depth yes with the... yeah I, that's Fuck. a good idea it's good yeah. it's like it's like they made a game for the psychotic people who i uh, know want to go through every branch of dialogue and that's the whole game Right, they're, well, they're, called persona, they're, they're, they're called persona. They're called persona fans. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Who am uh, I gonna bond with this time? Yeah. So that's all for Risa Disco. It's a great game. 
people yeah. should play I'm, it. I'm so happy that you guys are liking it because yeah. when I first oh. played it, I didn't know anyone else who played the game, so I had no one to talk to about it. It's yeah. such a complex game to recommend in it because it's there's so much reading, and I get that uh, that turns off a lot of people. I just want to say that I haven't I haven't progressed in the game because it's like it is like a book, eh? and like you don't want to. It's not a quick session type of thing. It's yeah. just a lot of reading, and you want to process it. But I'm this planning. Is... I'm planning on like going to Los Banos, bringing your switch ko, and holding up say some ratty apartment, yeah. no, not ratty Marathon. apartment, apartment na, na ano ng, ng partner ko, and like, oh this is, this is my version of a binge right now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna sit down and play play this whole game. I mean it's it's very, oh I like it a lot, and I haven't even like gone to day two. Dude, I I um, cannot like oh, day two na pala. Dis- yeah I cannot describe like the amount of like emptiness when I finish the game. I just didn't want it to end. Like I was like, yeah, I I now know all these that. like terms. Like what is, I I have all this useless information in my head now. Like this is what, <laughs> like this is how uh, local governments uh, mis misuse unions so that they can villainize. I don't know. Like I was like, like I now know all, the, all these things and I I can't really apply it to my. Hey, you should, hey, you want to hang on the catch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to run for office? Like, on catch. It's like oh, like how. How many other, how many people are gonna get mad at you today for some saying the wrong thing? <laughs> Man, I missed that. I haven't. I've never gotten to go. I've always been meaning, but I never got to go. Can you imagine? Can you imagine si, si Tao and all of the staff people there having to deal with all of these? Really, it re- it really is kind of like this collision. Like I said, that many Tao political, uh, no political yeah. ideologies and stuff hang yeah. out in like a bar and like para. <laughs> How many conversations have you probably heard? Na para ah, mga pula, kakaliwa. You know what? I've heard a lot. <laughs> right? You heard a lot. You've been there, man. You've Pero it's there it's lot. weird. Eh. Baka feeling ko akala dati na fucking spy ako or something or like a right. Because I I don't care about politics. Yeah, so and you jump openly... from like different conversations. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, and fuck, I don't know. Like, so I start Tell to osmosis. Them... Through osmosis, I got to be friends with them. I love that you're trying idea. to exhaust all your dialogue options. That's I love that idea. Si Andren is yung ano kung character sa Disco Elysium siya yung pagkinausa mo na tutulog siya sa kilid. Wala siya sa sabihin. I don't care about that. Fuck off. I love that. Cigarette. <laughs> okay, that's that's done na. Okay. Uh, what's ah? Uh, is it? Oh, let's put an anime, 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 or anime Ooh. corner na. Yeah, yeah. Anime corner. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. I'll put it. <laughs> actually, um, actually, I I just finished an anime oh, wow. today. Actually, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, I finished. Okay, go. The I think I talked about this last week. Uh, me and my partner, we were watching uh an anime that she watched in on college called, uh, Beyond the Boundary. Uh, it's one of Kyoto's uh one really of their good. first ones, I think. I don't know. And I, I talked about how I love the lore. Of um, the main character, he's half, because in this world of they're a bunch of spirit hunters, and then uh, they they hunt shades. They're called shades, which are like the manifestation of, of negative emotions in humanity. Blah, blah blah. And the main character, he's half human, half shade, so he's immortal. And then the other main character, there's two main characters. She's the last remaining uh, person in her uh, this banished. Uh, creed of spirit hunters because she's a blood uh, like they're like blood people they can bend blood they can turn their blood into swords their blood is acidic oh. and poisonous blah 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 and it's is about this kind of like them. melty blood you know, I, melty she blood? literally yeah. melts things with her blood yeah. so I guess yeah and then throughout the anime it talks about um, how how it feels like to be alone but when you find someone that is equally as alone how you can confide in each other and I love this wormhole of a of a of a screen, and sorry, sorry, sorry. But it's okay. But like I I I mentioned last week how the the story is really good. But there are these random like fan service moments that I hate, especially and like, you, you can't you, the, like 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 Giselle said, Pare, It's the raisins in the imputito. You you have to fucking. This is one I keep saying it, but this is one character who's like, like unironically in love with his sister, and I hate. I hate that like B plot, and there's this one episode where they like this this episode so, right so, here on so, screen. Uh, 
so she she's a ciscon. Let's let's use the the, the right pronoun. She's a the ciscon. Proper term. Yes. He refers to himself as a ciscon. Okay, is that like the yeah. actual term? Okay. Yes. A and this is one episode where they have to become uh, teen idols. So this is one shade they were it? trying to hunt. Yeah, that's the one. This is one shade that they're trying to hunt that is uh, that gets horny and like it, the only way to distract it because as soon as it gets alerted, it explodes uh, like this really smelly <laughs> goo on you. God, so God. if you distract it for long enough, you can stab it from behind and then you can exercise the shade. So they had to make they had to become teen idols for a whole week. And then they distracted it. They did this like really cute dance, and she wore this like scantily clad like outfit. But anyway, that's besides the point. But like, it's like they, there's these random episodes they don't really need to put. But then at the end, I cried because there's they, they go back to this theme of like uh, how this like love story between the two characters. Like, how can I be with you? You're you're an immortal shade, uh, and I have to hunt you. And then how can I be in love with you? You're the last of your line of this like banished. Anyway, it's it's really well told, and I I want to remove like some episodes and some B plots, but otherwise it's really good. It's well animated, and I don't know how else to like talk about it without spoiling. But okay, I, I mean, have a yeah, you guys have seen anime, but yeah, go ahead. I have a question about this. Um, <laughs> what's his what's go his on. name? Beyond beyond the beyond the boundary. Beyond That's the, the boundary, title. I've seen I, that. I forgot the Japanese title. Seen that lady. But... I was watching this TikTok. Tapos, okay. this girl is like, ano, parang, basically, yung, yung point ng TikTok is this girl has the hots for Hisoka. Why, what is up with people forgiving si Hisoka for being a fucking pedophile? Oh. Just parang like, <laughs> idolizing and loving the, like, what is the fuck up with that? Okay, people should well, that's, fucking... your, so your interpretation of Hisoka is that he's a pedophile? Because, oh, I get you're that gonna he give has... me, you're gonna give me that, ito, ito. <laughs> You're okay. gonna be giving me that reasoning. We talked about this nung isang on friend, parang like, I, it's, it's the reason kasi is like, no, so he's just really attracted to people with a lot of power. In yeah, this that's, case, that's what I got. But he's a boy. He's attracted he's a little boy. To, a little boy. <laughs> so it's as if parang sinabi na isang tao, parang, yeah. pare, I can, I'm vegan, pero I can eat ha- hamonado kasi that's sweet because I also like sweet stuff, so I'm still vegan. No, it's both. In your logic, don't. I don't fair know enough. why. That's, <laughs> that's a fair. I don't know. I like. It's like he's he's a pedophile by association. He didn't choose to be one, but because of his fetish for power, because this little boy happens to be so powerful, just because of that, technically he is a pedophile. I, I agree with you on that. Let's just be but fucking it's not clear. Because he... It's not even like a subtle insinuation. It's like a tongue wagging type of thing. Na parang, yeah, uh, like he gets a boner. It's and just like, so cartoony. His like crotch like glows when he sees how powerful Gon is. But because he's an edgy clown, na hot. Yeah. Get, I don't know. It's weird to me. How do you parse that? How do you guys parse that? Don't you like think it's hey. like? I guess I'm not the biggest. Like I'm not the biggest Hunter X Hunter fan, dude. Like, I I am. I'm a pretty <laughs> huge not... Hunter Hunter fan. You can tell because I don't call it Hunter X Hunter. <laughs> Hunter Hunter. That's the biggest tell. Uh, if someone is a huge Hunter Hunter fan, they say Hunter Hunter. I. Because like, you, you're I mean, discussing villain, about though. things, so you're liking. Is he? No, he is. He's he not really cool. It's. I did make him. Yeah, like, they make him a cool Wolverine. villain. But he's, a, oh, he's still an antagonist. He's, like he's still an antagonist. Like he's friggin'. I, I guess like if he were to be compared to an X Men character, I guess he's Gambit. I don't know. We're like he's a bad guy, but he's a cool bad guy. But no, he's the Magneto. character flow. I guess I don't know. But, but Magneto is more like I see Magneto as like Meruem, like the the antagonist. First of all, Gambit is not a bad guy. He's Louisianan. <laughs> he's only <Louisiana>. French. <laughs> is he French or Louisianan? I actually don't know. In the animated show, he's Louisianan. But in, in Marvel vs. Capcom... is Gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But in Marvel vs. Capcom, he's French. He says, like, Mon Ami. He says stuff like no, that. No, because he's from Mississippi. It's like Creole. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I was assuming he was yeah. French for some reason. Because... Creole friend. Anyway, Canadian pala siya, no? uh, <laughs> Okay. But yeah. I, I, I didn't mean to attack you with the case. No, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I get that. I, 
people always bring that up then yeah and i i actually don't get it then why people have the hots for him he's supposed to be disliked i thought that was the point i thought he was it's slimy like in, i thought in your point it's like in um in azumanga daio uh it's it's this collection of like cute girls going through uh high school in a funny like comedic uh sense but then there's this one ca- character who's a, he's a teacher who is literally a pedophile like he's He's like slobbering over these girls. He like he peeks at them when they go swimming. Is it swimming. the cat pe- one? No, no, no. He's a he's a high school teacher, a male teacher. He's uh-huh. a pedophile. There's a pedophile in this anime, and but the reason uh-huh. why he's there is he's supposed to represent the the sector of fans that will that because I think that the author knew because he's making a, a a manga about cute high school girls, but like in a funny like comedic. They're supposed to be innocent high school girls. He went ahead of the game, and he knew these these characters would be looted. So he made a character in the show that is like a representation of those gross anime fans that will loot his characters. He made this pedophile teacher to represent what those um, those readers and viewers are. It's like or in that's, GTA that's Five, him. or it's that's just a self insert. <laughs> it's like in GTA <laughs> Five, OC, Trevor. Man. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it is his OC. In GTA Five, they made Trevor to represent the 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 specific sector of GTA players that are like depraved and like do violent mm. stuff just for the sake of it. It's like that. So I I I don't know. I, like I don't mind that. Like I I saw Hisoka as like, oh, he's he's the representation of of people that watch shonen anime that just l- want the power. I don't know. I've, there's no defending it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've lost. I'm I've sorry. lost that The sh- short circuit. Yeah, I, mean, I, he, he, I hey, like River. I like Hisoka as like the character. Yeah. River, it's okay to like raisins. That's all. <laughs> it's okay to like raisins. It's okay to like raisins. Yeah, it's okay. You all gotta stop. Oh, wait, what do you, you guys talk about anime. I've incriminated myself more <laughs> enough already. Um, I'm not gonna I, talk about anime. Pero go. I, I have, have something one, to talk uh, about an animation. Have, go, go, and it's It's called My Dress Up Darling. Yeah. Oh, actually, I, I want to watch this. One. I this actually is on my saw, radar. I saw Giselle post like uh, a meme of it, and it was pretty it's a good. Yeah. yeah, the one in the Oh, yeah, girl. she's yeah. cute. Yeah. One of the cutest anime. It's wholesome, surprisingly wholesome. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> is it not? <laughs> I mean, not. I know it's got boobies in it. But... Wait, 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 wait. Here's the, here's the thing I, I like about it it's Ed Chisha. But it's just concentrated in one episode. First episode was pretty wholesome. Second, when he took the measurements now of the girl, that kind of was etchy now. And then the third episode, it's it's back to being wholesome. So I'm guessing they're gonna go with the format now. Okay, let's not fucking make these characters like sexualized. By their high school, so yeah, yeah. So. It's funny. It's a rom com, a basic ass rom com. It's Japan, though. They sexualize yeah. all high schoolers. That's true. So the story is about a guy who makes dolls for a living. Again, I know. And she meets this girl, who is a fan of like lewd hentai anime, arrow games. So she wants to cosplay, and the guy knows how to sew, sew things because he also makes clothes for little dolls, and it's. It's very romantic, and he has this lewd dream about the girl, and he has this doll he carries around all the time. By the way, Umbida, so he carries all <laughs> even in school. Yeah, because he lo- he fell in love with this doll after his parents died. So oh, it's like his, a coping item. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it is, but my part done. She has the lewd dream about the girl, and then when he wakes up all flustered, he looks at his crotch and he has an erection. And what he does is he makes the doll look away and then it just cuts to the next scene. So this guy jerked <laughs> off, man. Yeah, he jaked jer- off. Yeah. yeah dude, he splooged one. But it's it's surprisingly wholesome, guy, my edgy scenes. You need to watch it and ma- judge me yeah, afterwards, was- Giselle. Judge me, judge me afterwards, Giselle. Oh, I yeah, see you right, judging right. me. It's, it's just, it's, I <laughs> you know, it's just funny. I was thinking that, para- Man, I wish I know. I wish I could blame my parents' death for how fucked up I am. <laughs> so it's like, but uh, oh, that's why he has a little doll everywhere because his parents died. It's just so wow, so convenient for you. 
anyway, yeah, I I like shit like that, you know. When I when I, I don't go into someone, I don't go into like someone's house na nasa labas ay may candy colored shit and not expect it to be weird, you know. Like so when I watch something like this, like I'm going in for yung probes and shit, yeah. Except I don't like yung stuff like um. You know, I've said this before. High School of the Dead. I can't stand that because it's so yeah. I yeah, I, I, could, I couldn't take it. Yeah. I couldn't take it. And one more anime I also watched. I talked about this last week. It's called Life with an Ordinary Guy Who Reincarnated into a Total Fantasy Knockoff. Yeah. So basically, okay, what it's happened? This... I need to know. I want to know so, how this uh, fulfills. So the second first episode implied na okay, it's okay to have a crush with him because he. He's technically a girl now, and then more more of that's the second episode where they tease for the like will they won't they the mga yare. Pero ang nakakatawa kasi she had she he she he has this power where every guy gets attracted to her. So when she went to the, nung pumunta sila sa village, it invade ng bandits and one of the bandits fell in love with her and then isa pang bandit went, fell in love with her. And the whole bandit army fell in love with her, and all of them fought for her love. So they killed each other. So technically, she saved the village without doing anything. And they <laughs> laugh really hard. It's it's good. Like yeah, I'm liking this. It's my humor. I like it. Nah. It became like a sudden uh, Helen of Troy situation. Yeah. But they yeah. fought for this girl, and the whole village got fucked up. But she killed everyone without even trying. And by the end, the guy said. I think I'm starting to fall in love with my best friend, and then it ends. Hell yeah! Uh, I like that. I, uh, like that. Uh, I like I like that they're not making it weird that he's falling in love with him. I yeah. don't know. I think that's because she's a girl now, so it's okay. I, yeah, <laughs> I, don't, know. I don't know. I, yeah. I wonder how. How do you? Th- how does? I know it's Twitter, but I wonder about that. So Twitter, like when when woke Twitter gets a hold of anime conventions, because it's because it's a like, quote unquote problematic. It kind of reminds me of that episode of uh, Black Mirror with uh, Anthony Mackie, the actor of Falcon slash Captain America, where he it's like uh they play a video game that's like Mortal Kombat, but they go uh-huh. into the game world, so they put on these. Like headsets that connect their brain into kind of like in Bell, like I mentioned earlier, like connect them into the game and they can feel everything. They can feel the punches and they can feel tired. So him and his friend play, and then he picks like this cool-looking buff guy, and then his friend picks this really hot woman, and then in the game they start fighting. But then they get this attraction to each other and they do it in the game. But then the, after that they unplug and then they see each other in real life like like they're he's having a barbecue and they're, they're both uh, he's married and the other guy he's like a swinger who like he sleeps with a lot of women but then they see each other and there's this like unspoken like weird tension because they did it in the game it's and like they, they it's discovered like, their true selves or something and then... it's I forgot how it ends. dude I feel like I feel like this is where this anime is going to be honest with you. to like <laughs> He see so like behind his wife's back, cause like he and and then like, uh, he doesn't have like this spark in his marriage anymore. He doesn't really, he's not intimate with his wife as much. But when he gets, Hell he plugs yeah. into the game. He goes at it with his best friend. It, it, and it's, I, I I forgot what the message of this episode is. But... <laughs> I fucking hate Black Mirror. There was that was a bad season. I like I like the first season, the second um, season kind of, but the third season was kind of weak. Fourth season was okay. And like this one is just it wasn't that good. And I don't know, but I thought it was I'm funny. A, I'm an old school Twilight Zone dude. So anyway, yeah. yeah. Well, that's 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 a, that's a cool concept though. I I totally dig it. But it's like if I watch it, it's gonna be like ah oh, like Black Mirror is so hateful. It's such a it's a, it's a mean spirited show, and that's. That's why I just dislike it a lot of the time. I mean, it's such an edge lord show. It like it doesn't have a positive spin on it. Like, or I know there's this one episode that was really good, the San Junipero. Did you watch that one? That's the one people always recommend. No, I think there are a lot of good episodes, but like as a whole, if I, I don't want to wade through all, but I do like you know, I really like in credits one. 
Right oh, that was good. Yeah, a million credits. Yeah. <laughs> we we got through like me and my friend made a, like we got a naming convention of the titles. So like kung wari, a robot robot pala yung kapit bahay namin episode one. <laughs> <laughs> my camera my camera yung mga epis namin episode two. Like yung bubble. That's bubble. really good. Because it's Black Mirror, because na kapatay yung screen, de yeah. and you just see yourself. So, oh, it's a reflection you. of humanity through our technological dependence, man. Yeah, man. Fuck this. <laughs> I like it. my camera. I like that one. Um, to, to your point, Giselle, kung bakit pa naka cancel yung anime, because it still holds true. Na cart, it's cartoons. Eh. It's fine if it's cartoons. Uh, like yeah. that's why anime will never get canceled. Look, sa hen. Like there's this show called Isekai Reviewers. It's basically hentai, dude, and it got aired in Japan. Dude. I mean, I think it's there's some anime that's kind of getting canceled. Like I, I there's this other one I forgot. I think it's like called Orange Juice or something. Orange. Orange. Something. Orange. Orange. Just orange. orange. Yeah. yeah. Where there's this no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Citrus. 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 That's the one. Citrus. Yeah. Orange. I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> I mean, orange is a citrus. Yeah, dude. It's it's like it's really what fucked up it? though. Like he she essentially kind of brainwashes a minor and, and rapes them. Like that, that's yeah. like, kind of what happens. And yeah, I, I and hear technically a lot of people, they're sisters. They're sisters. Yeah, they're like sisters yeah. too. And it's just there, there's this one, one thing after another. There's this one scene. Talaga na shit. You really have to go this hard. Like they're they're reading a manga and they're close together and they're basically scissoring. <laughs> like they're that close to each other. Oh my god, damn. Why do I have to do this? Like, yeah. I'm not, I don't know I'm what pro- judging. It's just it's been a long time since I got into like you. I don't think I've ever gotten into the anime seasons. And I'm, I do you guys you you guys are obviously into anime seasons when like it's new anime season. You pick your show. I, I, you I watch, try. I try like, as much as I can because uh, yeah. there's a lot of interesting ones I don't want to miss. There's this one about this uh, mute deaf king. This like kid. Oh. Who's, that's yeah, to be this. king, but he's mute and deaf, so no one like believes in him. But he's very like courageous and confident. I want to watch that one. I want to watch Odd Taxi. I want to watch Odd Taxi's good. Uh, yeah, there's like a lot, a lot of good ones that aren't necessarily, um, you know, uh, fan servicey classic anime. Haha, <laughs> look at that, that 14 year old. But like, <laughs> there's a Hot Springs episode. Where? Oh, Which be- one? In almost any anime, in the beach. Yeah, exactly. Anime. The beach episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. After, um, after killing this king, pal, we have to relax at the beach, man. Okay. Yeah, but that's okay. why oh, I've kind of gravitated towards like I I talked about this one before. The sing yesterday for me, I think it's the, the one about like the disillusionment after you graduate and finding yourself as an adult. Like that one, like that's the kind of anime I've started like looking for more. Uh, but yeah, I I don't have anything else to talk about about anime. Uh. What were you gonna talk about just about like animation? I think anybody actually fuck their relative the hell anime. Yeah. You know what? I think I think world. because Jack... I read something. Wait, wait. I read something. No, I read a Reddit thing of like this kid na para who had the hots for their aunt that kept watching anime. Tapos, no, you know was, what though? I feel like he would have ended up. I feel like he would have ended up that way anyway, and he's just blaming anime as like the trigger point. But I feel like if he was going to have the hots for his aunt, he was bound to have the hots for his aunt, no matter what. Yeah, Rivers, right? Like, people who blame video games for, like, violent Yeah, exactly, violent exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's okay. I feel like if they were going to shoot up a place, they were going to do it regardless of video games. I don't know. They I mean, just, you know, like, not... those, those are bowling for Columbine. Like, they never played any video games. They were just bowling before they shot up that school. So, I yeah. mean, they blame so, Doom, though. They said, like, oh, oh. Like, Doom. Yeah. Well, they but, made Doom uh, ones. They made Doom yeah, mods. Yeah, they made Doom mods, yeah. No, I oh, don't know. Okay, okay. No, no, I'm not. I don't know. I'm not completely of the. I'm not for censorship at all. I love it. But it's like. It's like. That guy who shot at that theater is like a Joker Batman thing. Yeah, yeah, that. The guy with the orange hair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I remember that. I'm not saying that it's just Batman. But at the same time, it's like. Well, you know, I don't know. I I don't. I honestly don't know. I mean, uh, you know, there there is that conversation of like um, how media does influence uh, our culture today. As like that that was why I didn't. 
I enjoyed Joker. Oh, is it called Joker or The Joker? Whatever. Uh, the the one with Joaquin Phoenix. I enjoyed yeah, it Joker, as a film. Joker. But I was so worried. Like, because after I finished it, I was like, holy shit. There's still going to be so many, like, 20, 20 something year old men who are going to base the personality. The Joker is bumili si Andre ng t shirt ng Joker. Na. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just reads, and then it just reads insane. Oh, I just want a shirt that says society or something. Like yeah, that. dude, I saw this comedian that I love. Ang nakalagay sa t-shirt yung toxic masculinity, and I'm like, God damn, what, why do you have to do that, dude? <laughs> wait, wait, which which comedian is this? It's like it's Big J, bakit, Big J Ogerson, Big J. Oh, it's sobrang bagay sa kanya yun. It's like I think that's funny on him. Yeah. Toxic masculinity. <laughs> And Absolutely. then there's this one. I also saw saw this comedian. He, alam mo yung obey logo. Yeah. Pero uh, yung sa kanya offend pare. <laughs> Damn, ang angas, ang angas nun. Ang angas nun. Uh, so good. I like so that. sick, dude. It's so sick. Oh, offend. My God. Oh man, I'm trying to think of like oh, other brands we can twist into something like the uh... Supreme, something like you know. Um, It'll say like Snowflake or know, something. Cream, <laughs> I don't know. know. Snowflake. I like your friend ko kept sending me pictures of Vegeta tapos may statements. Parang ano. It's not about the work that you don't put in. It's about the strength that you have inside. Si Vegeta na. Ay, mga ganun. Parang when you see like oh, yeah. oh, fucking dude. meme of like parang. Dude, uh, dude, sobrang marami pa edgy on one. Like, if you don't, you deserve, you don't deserve me at my best, you don't deserve me at my worst. And basically ganun. Yeah, like that one. Yeah. You picture the Joker in London. I'm like, what the, what the fuck are you guys? Like edgy quotes, and it's yeah. always the Joker smoking a cigarette in that scene. Yeah, it's just. Oh. And I love that idea of like I was watching like this video, Kadina, of like the phenomenon of uh, people, uh, mostly a lot of women then falling in love with serial killers, like yeah, yeah. being fans of serial killers and stuff. This is like that idea of like this really edgy person outside of society, gonna. Like, did you know that si Ted Bundy wasn't actually handsome? Yeah, the media just got, made him out to be handsome. It was right? like a media thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and a special show and stuff. But it's like, it's just a couple of women started showing up to trials and then eventually a lot of more women showed up to trials and then they said na. And it's like, wow, I thought he was like actually handsome. He, he was like, he was basically a non-entity before. Dude, before Jim Norton had, had such a good joke about Ted Bundy being handsome. He's handsome for a serial killer. He's a New York four at best. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, he just made fun of him. And like, yeah, even Pretty like old. in my, and even my friend Dahmer, like Jeffrey Dahmer wasn't that handsome. The guy from oh, Zack and Cody is playing you, Vare? No. Oh, no, I feel bad. They I got Zac Efron do... to play Ted Bundy too. And the, yeah. No, I do uh, think that, no, I do think that see, see Jeffrey Dahmer kind of looks like Jude Law in some pictures. Dude, some angles. Some angles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you angle that's to strangle you, hooker to death. Yeah. Yeah, I think he looks looking like from him. down and above. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that angle. Damn, I love that comic book and the movie. Oh my god. You know what? He made, you know, a, he made a new book. Eh? He made about his shootings. Uh, the earliest shootings of states. So, I don't know. So, Which one? But, a campus yeah, shooting, one? I forget. No, the, the guy that the... sniper sa, 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 sa Oh, tower. yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot that one. Yeah, the, where he was just shooting random people. Yeah, I think so, so yeah. it's a state college, man. Dude, I think I know why, like, women are attracted to these serial killers. They say, oh, they're such bad boys. Like, they're probably young. Like, yeah, I say, like yeah, people, people I say, oh, I'm, de- I'm depressed, I'm quirky. Like, you don't really know how depression works. They on the depression shame up. They're like, <laughs> you, you know how. Go, go ahead. I, yeah. I, I've, I've met some weird people. Those are weird people. People like Giselle, like AJ, like C. Edmund. Like, those guys are real weirdos. <laughs> These these people like ooh weirdos that are quirky, think spontaneous. Uh, you know what spontaneous thing I could also think of? Killing people. Like it's <laughs> like it's not a it's it's a weird thing now where they ooh they like the dark brooding depressed guys. Depressed yeah. people stink. They suck. They smell <laughs> <They're> not, bad. <laughs> yeah, this is coming from me. I have most of those qualities. Well, that's all I'm saying. I mean, the, if you look at si Mark David Chapman, di ba, the guy who shot up si John Lennon, it's like, oh, like he looks like bad. He looks like 
and not to shame si Pan Oswald, but he looks like Pan Oswald on a really bad yeah, day. Yeah. They freaking got, who did they got, get? They got Jared Leto, Leto, the Joker. Yeah. They got the Joker. Oh, we're going full circle. They got the Joker yeah. to play the guy that shot John Lennon. Yeah. I mean, he gained like a lot of weight on purpose. I think that's what he did. Like he, he like, hey. I forgot what he did. Like he ate ice cream every day or something. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, like, what a hard he, no, like, robot. He, like, he had like a tub of, he had a tub of melted ice cream, and that's what he would like drink every day. No, and he uh, well, I, I don't. Maybe you're confusing that then for maybe confusing Vin with someone else. Vin Diesel Vin ate Diesel? a tub of ice cream for yung isang role where he was playing like a mobster and was like really fat. Vin Diesel. Just, no, because merong ginawa supercut si David Spade na sa show niya na parang of Vin Diesel talking about eating ice cream on I gotta look five different up. shows. <laughs> oh, I eat oh, ice cream every day. I eat ice cream. Oh, I like to I was oh, it yeah. Vin Diesel. <laughs> I, I, there's just so many weird hot, uh, headlines about Vin Diesel. I, I don't know which is real and which is not. Have you seen him get get hammered and dance to Beyonce? It's the greatest thing I've ever seen, man. Just watch it after the screen. You know what the funniest? Just... Like, one of the most secondhand embarrassment that I got lately was... Uh, not lately, but like a couple months ago, or maybe last month, Vin Diesel made like an Instagram post because he has a feud with The Rock, right? You know, I think he, yeah, he's him. mad. So he made this like Instagram post inviting him back, and like it's 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 basically if I were to, to like sum it down to one sentence, it's uh, you can come back, I forgive you. That's basically that. Even though it, The Rock kept saying it was Vin Diesel that was kind of like wronging him and that he he was like too controlling or whatever. And it was kind of gross how Vin, he, Vin Diesel's post, he talked about, um, he was kind of guilt tripping The Rock and saying like, in, in my household, my, my, my daughters, they call you uncle like that. Let's do it for fall, for, uh, what's his name? Family. <laughs> yeah, but like that. Basically, hey, like said, Uso. Hey, Uso. Come on. Yeah, Uso. I don't know. It kind of felt kind of gross that he was bringing in Paul Walker, a, a dead man into it. Like, oh, really? Like, somebody's kids. Yeah, yeah. He was oh. like. Let's do it for let's, let's, this. Is what Paul would have wanted, like something like that. It's How gross. do you know? know? You know what Paul yeah, would have exactly. wanted. I don't know. Hey, and hey. Then, like, yeah. uh, go, just... go on, go on, go on, make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. Pwede, I need it. Pwede, pwede ako na lang yung magdrive. <laughs> by the way, Oof. by the way, uh, speak of, fan. speaking of, uh, I'm a huge fan of. Um, it's a Jackass movie, Jackass Forever. Um, yeah. There may report pala na Bab is in the movie. He is. Yeah. Pero in in one specific stunt lang. So he, oh, really? it was nice. Yeah. It was nice that they still included him. Uh, I, I hear the stunt is when they kicked him out of the movie. They kicked him out of the door. You <laughs> the stunt is them kicking kick him out. out. <laughs> yeah. the yeah, a, big, a, big a big boot. The yeah. stunt is them keeping the cocaine away from him. <laughs> I, can't think of it. <laughs> I don't know what he's actually addicted to. I don't want to assume. No, I think it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot. It's a myriad of things. Yeah. Because I know that for the longest time, Steve yeah, was addicted to whippets. Up. Yeah. I think he got fucked up when uh, Ryan Dunn died. Like I think that was. Yeah, weird. that was really. It drove him. Up. It drove yeah, him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm it's sorry. Because he, he, he was mean it, to make that pun. He was re- he was sober for like a solid like year or something and then he and kinda, he just relapsed. He just yeah. It happens, dude. Relapse. You know, it must be so annoying to you na parang pag take your jackass and then Steve O is the sober one. The butt chugger is the sober <laughs> that one. That says a lot. Yeah. And then see Bam the sober one. Bam was the sweetheart. Bam yeah, was, he was like a young the, boy that they the, no, he was looked over. He was yeah. the rock star. He was the rock star pretty yeah, boy of the yeah, yeah. Pretty boy na para. He's not the guy who's smelling farts. I don't know. Yeah, I do yeah. I do love yung I do love when they yung do yung ano yung shaving things sa kanya and then they, he drops into the snake pit. They, they just really fucking murder. And he was crying and he was crying. He was crying. I hate you guys. It's so yeah. cute and annoying. Like, but fuck you. But they say, yeah. <laughs> Those movies are great, but I, I, think know. I only so watched cute. the first one though. I, I Dude, know how many are there. All, all, all three are watch great. All, of them. all three are great. Very end. Giselle put it perfectly, River. It's a celebration of male friendship. Yeah. That's all the Jackass yeah, no, movies are. Like. That's the thing, though, that I I stole that I've from missed. Roger Ebert. Yeah. Oh. He said that, really? Yeah. He likes the movies. Yeah, b- before yeah. he, he... Before he was released the movie. That's fucked up, no? From Darth Vader. Now all he could say is, oh, God. <laughs> I think one of the yeah, last things I'm he kidding. said was, like... He said, like, video games aren't art. I think he said that before he died. 
That's no, it's not, it's not what he said before what he, did he died. Say? Well, he said something. That, no, not, not, not he, before he died. Not I mean, before like, he died. Moment, also, like, no, a long time. Ago. Like, it's one of yeah. the big statements he said before he eventually died. I did. It's not like he was in his deathbed. It was like fucking Call of Duty. That's a piece of shit. You know what? Video what John Lennon. <laughs> you know what John Lennon's last word before he died? Oh, that's uh, a mighty big pen you got there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> is he Australian? Oh wait, I don't know. Tr- <laughs> oh, you want you want an autograph? Okay, that's a mighty fine pen you got there. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's a John Lennon. That's Wolverine. I'm trying to move. Hey, that's Wolverine. That's I'm from Liverpool. I'm from hey, Liverpool. I'm George from the. That's a huge hey, I'm... gun you got. That's a huge pen you got there. I'm <laughs> I'm George from the Beatles. I'm gonna put this cell phone next to my head all the time. Oh my god! <laughs> I have a cell phone. I have I have a cell phone hat. <laughs> this is the eighties. The cell phones oh, make your head big. <laughs> That's what he... <laughs> oh, I got a we got a split and headache for from all the cell phones. I want to know. You guys, you guys read Watchmen, Diva? Yeah. Yeah. And then there's like see Wally Wiener, and then your ex, the Doctor Manhattan, got cancer, Diva. Yeah, because it was out. Exposed. Not because of Doc Manhattan, because yung ginawa ni Adrian Byte na they gave them cancer through like. There's people following them around, like magnetizing. That's the big thing, eh? They tricked it into. They tricked them into. They got cancer, talaga, but it wasn't Doctor Manhattan. Someone. It was a third party. Then, uh, right? You know. So, the... so. Oh, but like, I, I just want like a mini series of yung, just Watchmen uh, mini series, cancer givers. It's about the guys <laughs> that cancer, just following them around. Do, do, do you know that Spider Man story? Um, I I think it was called like. Oh, I forgot the name, but it's 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 like it's set in the future. Spider Man is like kind of retired; he's fifty, and Mary Jane dies of of cancer because of semen, yeah, yeah, because of Spider Man's radioactive semen. I didn't read that. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Yeah, I forgot the name, but it's an awful story. And then he dies at the end. <laughs> that reminds me of one Hustler comic of Superman getting a blowjob, and all you see is this. <laughs> A, a back of a head's chick getting oh, blown off. Yeah. <laughs> Hustler comics rule, cool. buddy. Yeah. yeah. So that's <laughs> yeah. Um, let's end on that Spider-Man ejaculating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spider-Man. <laughs> okay. I think it's talking about Shin Megami Tensei, but whatever, oh, they, they're they, all the let's, same. Let's just do yeah. Shin Megami Tensei and like. Oh, and we think it's the top of Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Oh, well, let's let's try it. Out. Let's see if we can All get right. your energy back. It's I'm, just two hours. Like, yeah, yeah. Bad. I'm legitimately interested in Pokemon RC. Is it? Cause... Are we going Shin Megami Tensei first? Para matapos yan. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, Shin Megami Tensei. Whatever. I like. I I like the game. Um, I played at this point. How many have I played? Wait, wait, wait. That's the. Okay, okay we're gonna talk about Shin Megami. I don't know if I spelled it right, but River just finished uh, you know favorite game series yeah, for yeah. for this week. <laughs> for the yeah for the week. When it's not Dragon Quest, it's Shin Megami. Oh, uh, I was a bit disappointed with the story. It, it I don't know how, uh, how did, because okay, Shin Megami Tensei Five. It's the open world Shin Megami essentially. It's like a sandbox. You go around, you explore, and everything you do ties into your character's progression. So, you f- you find things, you do quests. It makes your character stronger in different ways. But because of that, the story is so disjointed. Like, it's just a, it's like a string of 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 moments but it it doesn't it doesn't kick in until like the last area and then because it says a lot na, in, in Shin Megami Tensei 4 the one before this um the ending is based on this the decisions you make throughout the game right yeah which is normal for a lot of um a lot of games with multiple endings but in Shin Megami Tensei 5 that you get to choose what ending you want like you can at the end of the game they're like okay we're at the throne of god what do you want to do do you want to resurrect God and, and reestablish order? Or do you want a world where all the gods coexist, but it'll be chaotic because there's many religions? Or do you want to destroy the throne of God and make hum- humanity fend for themselves? Like, those are the three endings. There's a fourth secret ending where, like, you eradicate all gods, all angels, all demons, and just have a world of just humans. Yeah, and, yeah so, I don't know. I didn't. I don't know how to feel about how they just give you the it's right because it made, gave me flashbacks to Mass Effect, 
to Mass Effect Three where you can choose what color ending you want. It it didn't matter like what you did prior, what the choices you made, because at the end of the game you just choose what ending you want, which I guess for completionists is cool, because you can just play the game and then reach the ending and then choose the ending you didn't choose before. But I I I prefer it when it kind of you got the ending that you uh you subconsciously aligned with because then it kind of lines up with your own personal beliefs like um i I don't want to like i don't know how else to talk about the game but it's it's the perfect example of the 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 argument between persona and shin megami and that i i will yes that shin Shin megami are bad games and persona yeah (laughs) (laughs) the people who are for shin megami are are (laughs) elitists they're elitists and they (laughs) They hate anime. No, it's it's that like Persona has better characters, better stories, but if you want like tougher gameplay and whatnot, you go to Shin Megami. And I I think the perfect example is Shin Megami Tensei Five because I without like I, at this point uh, throughout twenty 2020 twenty to twenty twenty two to now, I've only been playing JRPGs, and I think I have a fair assessment in saying that I think Shin Megami Tensei Five has the best turn based combat I've ever experienced in any. GRPG that has turn based in it. Like, it's better but than. You've only played two. Like. Uh, two what? Uh, no, Dragon Quest and Shin Megami. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I played Final Fantasy. Oh, I played yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. The sequels played, don't count. I played Persona 5. <laughs> Fuck Dragon Quest no, gameplay never evolved. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. <laughs> I think that's why I'm saying that. No, uh, but like. Even like but by the way, so, wait, wait, yeah, like, When they said that, oh, Dragon Quest is going back to its old school roots. <laughs> Which roots? <laughs> Which roots? <laughs> Fucking, you've been the same route forever. <laughs> it took you. It took you until eight to make to, to make you it, see the yeah. monsters. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> Fuck you. I, mean, I, <laughs> I this, love Dragon Quest. It's so. funny because, like, in twelve, I think, like. 12 they made a teaser trailer it's like it's gonna be edgier it's gonna be darker it's gonna be a different taste of the combat and then that's where people flipped off like no don't make dragon quest an action rpg we'll we'll boycott dragon quest or something <laughs> shit like that like this is why this game never evolves is because all the fans are like 50 something and they haven't played any other jrpg i don't know but mm. I'm, I'm talking like in terms of like in shin megami tensei's fives combat comparing it to other shin megami games at least in that world, even compared to Persona, I played enough of Persona Five to like, and I, I played a bit of Persona Three actually. I, I'll play Four eventually, where like I feel like Five does a good job of making all the battles always tense. Like every encounter, it feels like how you know how like in Dark Souls, in a Dark Souls game, even if you're flying, if you're fighting like a low level guy, you, you're still scared of dying, like that. Yeah. In, that, but in in Dragon Quest, like you no longer feel that fear. At a certain point, because you're like level <laughs> 99 and you're fighting. Yeah, like you, you know, auto mo na lang, auto. Yeah, in 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 um, they do a good job in Shin Megami Tensei Five and that throughout the game. Even though you're fighting low level guys, if you get hit, if your weakness is hit, or if you get countered or anything, you're you're screwed. And I like that because you always feel like you're on edge. But it's hard because I want a game because uh, I played prior to this. The last Shin Megami game I played was uh, I think it was three. Nocturne, yeah. and that one had a solid, like marriage of story and gameplay, and like Shin Megami Five just focused too much on the gameplay, which is a weird complaint for a video I think, game. I think, I think, River, um, yung di ba disjointed siya ng open yeah, world? Yeah, it's just Kasi like that's, it's just tiny that, moments. That's that's the case of all open world games yeah, in which yeah, most yeah. of their stories. Is there an aren't open world game good? with a good story? <laughs> I, um, I wanna... The last one I played that was pretty good was was Five. Ah, Five. Yeah, GTA Five. That's the only one Fair that enough. I can remember. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. like a thousand that's people working on one thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And oh yeah, fuck, fuck. How could I forget Red Dead? Red Dead too. Yeah, actually, you're Red right. Dead. Red Dead had a great story. They had a great yeah. story. But I think it's because. Uh, but those are Rockstar games. Rockstar is known yeah. for. They like, they know how to stuff. craft a good yeah. narrative despite the open world. But I don't know because for me, Breath of the Wild, like even though it wasn't. I think that's uh, the, the only Japanese open world game that's maganda. Yeah, I'm, I'm being wild. serious. No, I'm being serious. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, because, do you count Yakuza's open world? No, it, it's, not no a, it's not an open world I don't world count game. it as open world, no. It, yeah, because uh, it's a very small area. It's it, You don't get to travel. Well, I'm driving in that game. 
So it's still it has the benefit of that being it has open more... spaces, but yeah, it's not it an open, open world. Yeah. yeah. No, okay, it's like a JRPG. It's literally a JRPG where like you <laughs> go from area to area. You have a yeah. world map, but you go to these tiny zones. But yeah, overall, Shin Megami Tensei Five. I, I hope that for the next. I don't. Know, I don't think they're gonna work on the next one for years. I mean, the gap between four and five is like almost a decade. But <laughs> I'm, I'm. It lived up to yeah. my hype though, and I think it's a good game overall. I was just disappointed with the story. I was gonna recommend Sana River. Um... Yakuza like a dragon. It's like oh my god, yeah, I gotta like, check that out. Yeah. It's like Persona, but all of your members are losers. Are like 40, 40 year old. It's drunks. the opposite of Persona Five, where all of the members are cool. You 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 partner with a drunk <laughs> cop. You partner with a drunk cop, a prostitute, and a homeless person. So it's it's kind of charming. It's fun. It's, it's I funny. might I might just because like. That. I I downloaded uh, Dragon Quest na yung sa X- Xbox. I love Eleven. Yeah. I think Eleven has a good story. Like yes. uh, I think it's let's the one see. The... Yeah. Yeah. I see you in like fifty hours or so when yeah, you're half. Yeah. Yeah. Ha- in the halfway. When you're in Act Two, palang <laughs> like <half of> Act Two. <laughs> but dude, the monster designs are cute as shit. But you know what's yeah. fucked up? Said Dragon Quest now. They they sometimes show the enemies' eyes roll in the back of their head yeah before they die yeah, yeah. there's this enemy that stabs itself by accident it has this animation yeah. when you kill it he's holding a spear and he knocks he falls down then he accidentally stabs himself with a spear and it's like ouch i don't know all right um, that's, that's just yeah. uh that's just so uh, but, Tensei, l- lame story it's just disconnected the, but not, the thing uh, though that shin megami tensei is has always been good at is um giving uh, smart concepts. That's all it does. It it it, it it's puts these concept, interesting yeah. ideas, like um the. What did I you like, pick as the ending? I mean, what, I, what... Uh, the ending I picked was I destroyed the throne of God and then I allowed humans to just kind of fend for themselves. Mostly Why? because, mostly because I realized that the demons in in the game and how because how the how Shimagami depicts gods and demons and angels they're all kind of like humans anyway but they just happen to be powerful um but i feel like because the, your main character the reason why he's he's able to like choose the ending like the fate of the world is because he's half human because they keep saying like humans have this potential that gets unlocked when they meet their their other half their other half who is a demon or a god or an angel so like uh it's like the otherworldly beings of demons, gods, and angels, they have all the power, but they don't have the potential that humanity has to shape the world, to shape the future to what they see fit. And I like that idea na, I know, uh, throughout the game, they always, they, the demons uh, fear humans in a weird way. Like, they not because they're stronger than them, but because of their potential. They always say that. Like, humanity has so much potential, but the... Uh, how they go about shaping the world that's what they're scared of the fact what that would you they're pick? i mean in real guys. life no no i mean right i mean i would pick status quo because I'm a yeah the, that's the law ending. actually what i like in, in I would pick... Tensei 5 is it, it doesn't tell you what which is law which is chaos which is neutral they all kind of blend and i like that okay. i would pick not that but my gods because I... Edgy the man, but like humanity, <laughs> humanity has proven time and time again, but if we leave it into our own hands, yeah, yeah, like we do some fucked up shit. So I believe that it's better. That's way. fair. I like it's, it. it's weird. It's weird to me because parang you just discovered that there are gods and you're gonna wipe everything out. That seems like you're a monster in that <laughs> yeah. situation because they're like you know. There's still people. So it's really funny because I like how um, when you choose the ending to destroy the throne of God and not have any gods anymore. Some of your party members in your in your team, like uh, like uh, your teammates that you depended on throughout the game, they like disagree with you and they leave your party. And it sucks because like I had That's this one so party right. member that was really strong, <laughs> and they left. They're like, I don't agree with what you're doing. This this is not what I thought you were gonna do. So bye. So they leave. That's cool. Yeah, I like that they do that, and it it gives. That's why I didn't want to choose the ending where they where you wipe out all demons, all gods, and all angels from existence, and it's just a world for of humans, because I actually got attached to my teammates, to like these demons that I recruited, that I grew, that I. That's also know, racist, <laughs> yeah, 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 kind of. Is there a, an ending where you can become the god? That would be fucking. Yeah, there, awesome. there is. Yeah, there is an ending where you uh, become the god. That's just, yeah, no, yeah, but. 
no, that's the ending where you wipe out all demons and angels and, and whatever, and you're the only being that like watches over everything. Hell yeah! So no, then, and then the whole ending is that in the ending they become God. You take out your cartridge, say your switch, and then you put yeah. in Dragon Quest. <laughs> <laughs> like was, and yeah, like remember, I still can't believe that in Dragon Quest movie, it be it be oh, yeah. become a Dude, I boss. want us to. I want it's us a to fucking watch game. Them. We have to watch party that movie sometime because it's such a bonkers <laughs> movie. Especially yeah, if you play, because you did you play Dragon Quest Five or? No, no, I never played. That's okay. Three. That's okay. Because I want to know. I want to get uh, your opinions on, because I played Dragon Quest Five when prior you, to watching. No, sinabi movie. mo sa akin yung river, no, the game yeah. pauses. I thought you were joking, talaga. No. <laughs> I, thought <you> were like, <laughs> I really thought then that. That it was like, oh, is this some kind of magic? Is this it's like no? It's the game was paused by the player, and the movie was it was the game the whole time. But I, I don't wanna, <laughs> that's so good. It's really good. That's it, so I good. actually, in hindsight, I actually like the movie though. Okay, <laughs> when I first last, watched it, I hated it. But yeah. Last topic. Last topic. Yeah, okay. go ahead. Okay, so going from the original Pokemon oh, right, originator, yeah. which is Shin Megami Tensei, because that's monster. Yeah, the first monster, monster catching. Catching game. Now we got your evolution, the Pokemon Arceus. It's an uh, get, go going from an open world monster hunting game to another open world monster hunting game, which is Pokemon Arceus. And surprisingly, getting really good reviews. Yeah. Uh, I, what I are you? I gonna, thought it was about to become shit. I thought it was gonna tank so hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly. What's the gameplay about? What's the gameplay for Arceus? It's like it's, it's like a lot of action one. RPG elements in it. Nah, yeah. you just like say, um, like before you guys stuff. go through it. Because I saw this like mod. Now they made a shooter out of Pokemon where you get. To yeah, shoot. I saw that one too. Oh, <laughs> oh that got canceled. That got yeah, that, that got canceled. <laughs> I mean, you know, I know, I know, hunting rifle para Elmer Fudd. Apparently, though, that's not how the game actually is. The marketing team just did that just to get attention, and because of that, the game got like canned. I saw, um, I saw them like fucking up guard divorce, but with fucking <laughs> shotguns. That's pretty funny. So you yeah, Pokemon Arceus? I think I think I'm gonna buy the game because I skipped uh, the remakes of Diamond and Pearl because it it really didn't. I don't know. It didn't appeal to me, but this is the direction that I want Game Freak to go. Um, and as much as like, it's not a must buy for me, but it's kind of sad. I feel like I'm be- I'm being taken hostage because like this is this is I want to show to them that this kind of experiment because it's still a side series though, even though it comes off like a main line. But I think they they just they're just scared. They're but I want your bets. The, yeah, I want I want them to see that these kind this kind of like experimentation is what Pokemon needs. I might I might buy the game just to show, you know, that that it it'll sell because that this this risk is gonna like pay off. Yeah, because it it looks like, pretty good. The, the graphics look like crap fun. though. It really looks like bad. The background, like your open it, world, it genuinely really looks bad. kind of dull and ugly. <laughs> I can't and like it's, yeah. it's so sad too because. Coming off of Shin Megami great, Tensei though. Five, yeah. C- coming off Shin Megami Tensei Five and and even Breath of the Wild, it, th- those are gorgeous like open world games. Like they really push the Switch to its limit. But like I don't know why they don't seem. To I don't do think that they have Pokemon. to. I don't think they have it to push, have to push it, it to the limit. Least, eh. look good looking. I don't you know. Just don't put in like a no. Don't put in armored core trees. I don't know. Just <laughs> put in like a taunting effort. Na parang like not everything is just fudge ground. I don't know. Just, yeah, no. We're past that, man. <laughs> What are you that's funny. Have you, seen the that's funny. you armored core trees is such a bad example uh, of graphics. <laughs> it's such a tree example, the dude. Trees, the you trees know, and armored core did stink, dude. Para siya na ako sa box ng pretzels. Yung pag yeah. nabubuo ko. Like, ano. like, like kung nasisira, hindi. In the back. Like kung nasisira siya, hindi siya. Parang nagpo-fold lang siya. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's just, so fucking stupid. But I don't know. The gameplay looks good, especially how, like you said, there's a lot of like real time action in it. In that, um, in Pokemon, when you have to run from a battle, you have to like select run and then you run yeah. away. In this one, you literally like run. You leave. You 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 escape <laughs> the battle. It looks Actually, I, funny. I saw I saw like a rapid dash fuck someone up. He na habol yeah. siyong kabayo and yeah, like yeah. wow, it looks fucking cool. Yeah. He's, he's fire. He's like breathing fire on you. I saw like a Gyarados flying in the air. 
Parang, yeah, I like how they do the different ganda. sizes too. Like it's an open world and like the Pokemon are kind of like size appropriate. So like the legendary ones are like huge and then the, the there, low level the, ones are tiny. The catching mechanics you can put in stealth stuff because some Pokemon will either chase you or like mabait or like you yeah. have to like this is cool. sneak when up is this on game them. coming out? It's out. It came out now. Came out now. They it, it leaked. Came out today. Someone leaked you wrong. Damn, buddy, fucking. Sony stinks, dude. What the fuck are Sony <laughs> doing? <laughs> they all, uh, I don't know about you. No, you guys got Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, yeah, you guys are getting Forbidden War. And you're getting uh, God of War Ragnarok. That looks really Yeah, be... Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. I don't want to yeah. be mean K Aloy, but they really did round her face off in a weird way. And I'm not like one of those guys. For... It's just, it's odd to me. It's really odd. I think It's because she got buffered, dude. Like, it's like, because of from... Uh, Zero Dawn to Forbidden West. I think she's she's become a chief or something. I don't know the story. I guess that's the thing. I, I don't so see him body. They yeah. just I saw him on headlines and it's just her her face. Woof. But that, that's also a bad shot of her. There's like better yeah. angles in the later yeah. gameplay stuff. She looks like a fun sidekick to see a warrior princess. Like fucking no, round face. No, she's potato hindi, payatot selling naman, Irish. Payatot naman yun eh. Si Sina yung malaki yung mukha. Yung kanyang kasamang blunt, yung payatot. Yun yung twink. I, <laughs> yan lang. I, I think it I feel looks, like it's no, realistic though. No, I do think it's realistic because I saw yung other characters and all of them look buff. Like I'm not, I'm not yeah, kidding. Yeah. All of them look... I think it's a goofy game. Have you seen yung other tribes? They all look like... You know what this game... I have other issues with this game. It's not just your face. I don't care about your face too much, but it's more of like, um, this is, and I know this is fucked up, but this is white people trying to be ethnic. They're making their own tribes. There's the Irish tribe. There's the, they're all white people. You know, I saw the previews, and it's like weird to me. But huh? Okay. It's like the Irish caveman tribe. There's there's some black people, but I get what you mean. There is there is a lot of white Celtic people. No, they're the dinosaurs. They're inside the dinosaurs. Oh, <laughs> they all look like I know. Everyone looks like they would be I know. They would be in a House of Pain music video. <laughs> Jump around. Like like, para you um, you para you fucking you see like background characters ah, top so you ah get knocked out. I'm getting Pokemon RC when I have money. I guess. <laughs> Sorry, what? Are you are you getting it? Do you plan on getting it? Just so? what do you, what do you what do you feel about it? Um, no. It looks <laughs> like fudge ground. I see your ground. It looks like I know Croc Stale. I think I think it's because I'm playing um, Ease Eight. Lacrimosa of Dawn. I saw you go online. It's like, oh, yeah. it's a rivers. It's a great Go- game, but the rivers not really a, slumming it, it with this double A RPG. It's not a good looking <laughs> game. The animations are so stiff and robotic. The voice acting yeah. is pretty good. But, but come on, graphics, guys. To be man, fair, so to be fair, like, like in the old days of like you scoring ng EGM, pare, gameplay was the highest, like. Yeah, it's true, score true. that you can give. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that's why I that's why I'm willing to not willing. I hate, I hate them saying I'm willing. Like I'm, I'm being held against my will. <laughs> You're deigning yourself. But no, I I would I would I would get the game. I, I I yeah, more than anything, like at least it's a good game. That's the beyond yeah. just like the whole statement of like you know you vote with your wallet. Blah, 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 uh, but I think it's you know, a good like, game. It looks give like it a game. chance. Like Mass Effect Andromeda, the man wasn't that good looking. <laughs> It was a good damn Yeah, I mean... Well, you, the difference is Mass Effect got fixed. The Pokemon's not going to get fixed. It's so and that's frustrating, not a too. Then, eh? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It's so, it's so frustrating, too, because uh, Xenoblade Chronicles looks gorgeous like in, in the Switch, too. And that's a turn-based yeah. RPG. It's like, I don't... I don't know. It's just so weird to me. The Pokemon maybe, always... it'll, maybe Pokemon Arceus will start to look good when they remake it 10 years it's, later. And something. it's weird, too. <laughs> it's weird, too, because the first Pokemon on the Switch, uh, Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, it's, it's, a, a, gorgeous, look it's good. a beautiful game. It's like the best-looking Pokemon game. And then as Pokemon progressed on the Switch, it got worse and worse. No, I don't it's know just, why. It's weird. Your palette looks like it's all fudge brownies. It's so washed Renault. out and, and like bland-looking. Meanwhile, like, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Meanwhile, like, um, 
uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and I hate their names. Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu. Don't whatever. you want to? Don't you want to wait for DLC that's gonna come out? I'm sure there's gonna be DLC for this game. Yeah, but knowing Nintendo games, it's, the price is never gonna drop, so I might as well get oh, it that's now. True. You know, it's, it's the same <laughs> they sold, thing. They sold fucking like in uh, Nintendo 64 Mario. It's the same price, but it's, it's still the same sold. price. It's yeah, so absurd. That's insane. Yeah. Hey, it's insane. great. It's the best. It's three games, okay? It's three games. <laughs> two games that yeah. I finished. All of which you could play in emulators, by the way. So I know. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. You're hurting me. <laughs> stop it. I support. I felt bad. Nah, you know, friend, best friend. Ko, we grew up on Super Mario 64. Then he bought. Sabi ko, oh, maganda yung Mario Odyssey, and he played. He didn't finish it. Sabi niya, mas gusto ko Luma. And it's like at the same time, na parang yun din yung feeling ko. I was like, oh, I really wanted to bring back you. Oh. Good old days, but that's gone now. Anyway, I don't know where I was going with that. No, no, that because that, that's what I'm doing now. Actually, like most of my playtime lately, if I'm not playing a JRPG or like a random like double A game, I'm playing old games that uh suddenly showed up on Game Pass. Like I'm playing Arkham Asylum, a game I loved when I was like 14 when it came out. I forgot how old I was. I'm I'm playing. I'm replaying all the Mass Effect games because the The, rem- the legendary edition came out like it's mostly i mean i said this when the year started like i feel like most of my backlog is just gonna be games that i grew up with because i'm it's 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 different it's different when you it's like reading an old book from different it's like re- when i read blankets again in a different stage mm-hmm. of my life like i have this whole new perspective on what a game is i don't know it, it, it's it's still the new. perspective the river is like high schoolers are hot <laughs> yeah that's what happened <laughs> like, it was the air High schoolers yeah. are hot. I become like a Horrible. gross degenerate. Uh, when you're watching, when you re- reread Blankets, huh? the retard is dumb, but... <laughs> Horrible. That's all yeah. you pick up from that. Like, yeah. man. Oh, I, ano pala, just to, to finish this off, I, I started playing on Outer World. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's fun, you know. Outer World's not Outer Wilds, right? Not Outer Wilds. Yung okay. merong crazy frog aliens. I... I oh, Outer Worlds! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Outer Worlds is fun. But like you Outer were Worlds. right, Andrew. It is like a cheaper looking game. Yeah, it is. You could it's easily bare tell. It like the animations like... of the face are so stiff. The shooting it, is so stiff in that game. It looks like a no. It looks like um, Fallout. Fallout New Vegas, but it's not really It's, a it's bit. Fallout New it Vegas really for isn't. modern consoles. That's how it feels. Yeah. But. In a way, it feels that way, even with, especially with the writing. It's still, it's still so sharp. It's good. It's, it's good. I can't wait for you to reach um, the rich people area. It's so funny, like the dialogue of the people there. If they feel like people like I like you. I, I like you. Um, it is very Fallout in the way that people say, "No, para ano, uh, space is choice." In yung parang yeah, yeah. actual language, the, it's like yeah, an like Total Snake's ganun. rule. It like it comes off like it feels like the <laughs> yeah. old Fallout Three. It's it's uh, funny, gonna it's fine. Gonna, I'm, I'm how excited. How do you feel about the because they they can't use the VAT system because I think that's trademarked by Bethesda or whatever. But they're using yeah, like a different like slow mo thing. How do you yeah, feel about that one? I like the in game. You you know your explanation then, Andre, and your in game yeah, explanation the for their VATs. It's because you were in stasis for so long that there's something mentally wrong with you. Yeah, your like, brain. Yeah, that's yung so funny. Time, it's like time dilation, and it's yeah. like that's really you perceive smart. time slower. Yeah. I am proceeding with a uh, long gun sniper build. Nice na, build, yeah. Na time stop in your plan, ako kasi. Ani yung pinak ani yung pinakamatas mo stats. Ang tinas ko yung charisma. Long gun. Same long charisma. Gun, uh, yeah. A charisma. I I I don't know. I I've ne- I have the confession. I've never played a, one of these RPG games na tinasang ko yung charisma. Even though yeah, I go through all of your dialogue stuff, there's new dialogue trees there. If you, depending yeah, yeah. On, but I like Dude. how in I think it was it's it's um Outer Worlds where it's not just charisma. It's like charisma is broken down into different kinds of yes. charisma. Yeah. So there's like I, I I forgot the actual words, but there's like intimidation. There's uh I forgot the other inspiration. Me yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. It, I like that. Here, that's though. so that's so much better because I, I always thought like I don't like how charisma is just this blanket term. Of you talk really well. Like there's this other, there's different ways to do it. You can be intimidating. You can be kind. You can be a suck up. I'll like, say this: like, uh, your dialogue system is way better than Fallout 4. I okay. agree. I agree. Yeah, it's way better. They, they, this is their peak, like yeah. dialogue tree yeah. style writing. 
Because really you good. can technically not kill anyone down the game, except for yeah. the random enemies. Except, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. For like the alien monsters, but throughout the game, there's there's so many like pacifist choices. Yeah. There's like you can role play like a like a weakling and still make it all the way till the end. I'm it's excited. Really cool. wanna, ka, I'm excited wanna, to become like River when he was younger and just play. Because I'm gonna play Mass Effect. I'm gonna play all of these. I'm I'm looking. I'm seeing Skyrim, and like I want to play a good version of Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah. you can find it in any console now. Skyrim. It's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mga maging browser game show in one. One day, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. In the future, if if servers are strong enough, you, there's gonna be like Skyrim's fiftieth and like one thousandth anniversary on Google, and then you click on the Google icon and it has this. this you play Skyrim. <laughs> 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 internet. Yeah, you just play Skyrim. <laughs> no, it's it's gonna be installed with Windows. Man. Yeah, it comes with. Uh, it comes with Windows. Okay, that's been uh, episode 30 of gaming. I'm just gonna update then like, uh, like uh, we're gonna transition into like more of a YouTube model, yeah. I guess, my clips and stuff, because I heard that podcasts are I guess video podcasts are in and like podcasts are sort of middling ganun. So like um we're gonna cut this up, put it on YouTube, and then your old shows will premiere in between. And um, it's kind of, I guess we just treat it like as a, a weekly diary thing. Ganon. And then I think the you clips are going to be key because that's going to be like the funny bits that people are going to watch. And parang, oh, like, I want to watch the whole thing. Yeah, and then that's parang, the thing that we share. And then they watch it for two hours and they say, I really wasted my time listening to these assholes. I'll, I'll just stick to the clips. <laughs> stick to the clips. Uh, every... Every week there will be a stream at the very least. Yeah. That's where we get your know, content. Dude, two hours and they haven't been talking about video games yet. Man. They call themselves the gaming gamers and they only they only tacked on Giselle, the gaming. Wait, 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 Giselle River. This is gonna be like Fast and the Furious, where it's not about the cars. It's not anymore. about racing anymore. It's, about, it's, about it's, about, it's not being family. about video games. The third time we reboot, it's gonna it. be about us. <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll keep the people updated. Wait, Monty on the pressing leave studio, no, no, no. That's always.